Riri. I'm just setting up a little here. Let's see which way do I need to go with this. Needs to come this way. <laughs> there we go. This got a glare on it. Let's prop that up with something. There we go. That's good. Got tons of books. Tons of books, people. It's going to be a book day. <laughs> uh, I said, hiya. <laughs> okay. Well, I got, I got books I bought, Happy Mail books. Three different people sent me different Happy Mail books. I'm going to wait for um, our faithful mess to get here before I show her. She sent me two boxes of Happy Mail books. So I've got that to show. I'm working in my um, YouTube Fibs yearbook. Oh, so much going on. Can y'all hear me okay? Is the sound okay? <clears throat> so let's see. Elaine, Darla, AJ. I said hi to Riri, Kathy, Robin, Tez. I know I'm probably missing some people. So we're going to be doing books today. Lots and lots of books. Where's Janet? <laughs> she gets, uh, I, she gets, uh, she wants to buy the books I buy. So hi, Gabriel. How, can y'all hear me okay? I got my hot coffee. I'm out of cranberry juice. I might have to get me some orange juice if uh, my voice doesn't get crack a lacking. <clears throat> So, um, hope everybody's doing well. Michelle. She will have a cow. I know. Well, she already saw a picture, like, not this exact picture, but she saw these already. Um, good day. <laughs> Green. It must be from down under. I think you already told me that. Good morning. Well, it would be good evening for you. It's probably almost bedtime for you, Green. <laughs> Hi, Erica. Oh, my goodness. So, I hope everybody had a good weekend. We went up uh, to Denise's Sunday. And of course, after we go to Denise's, we have to stop by Barnes & Noble. Hence, hence the books. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Deborah, I'm sure I'm, I'm missing people. Thanks, everybody. Don't forget, if you talk to me, to put it in caps. Make sure you check live chat at the top of the chat window click live chat instead of top chat or you won't see all the chat make sure your little setting wheel is set at 720 or 1080p because sometimes youtube defaults back to a lower setting and you won't have good quality so let's see hear you loud okay across the <laughs> you hear me loud you could probably hear me loud uh, clear across the pond without a microphone gabriel <laughs> Hi, G. Hi, Star. <laughs> hey, Nancy. So, uh, yeah. So, I'll just say uh, if you're if you're uh, new or you're watching the recording, I always spend a few minutes saying good morning to everybody in chat. I do leave the live chat up so people can watch the chat and the show at the same time on the recording. Hi, Julie Topaz. Happy marvelous Monday to you too. Julie got some good books last week at her library sale. I saw she posted those. Let's see. Kimberly, Joey, Lindsay. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for stopping in Monday morning. Oh, I should probably tweet. Let's go ahead and tweet. Let me do that real quick before it gets too busy. Let's see, in the morning, coming out in the morning live. Let's put some little coffee and art. Art books, oops, let's see. Art books. Color books. What did I title this again? Hall books. <laughs> No, Happy Mail books. Happy Mail. Happy Mail books. Let's 
books. <laughs> Let's see. Let me put link in profile, link in profile. Hang on, guys. I got to back that up. Spelt that wrong. I always try to read my tweets. I don't always catch them, but let's see. Who else came in? Rosalind Lindsay. Said hi to Darla Kim. Jerry. Shauna. Hey, you, hey Shauna. How you doing? Did you, did, I saw that you said you had your basement flooded. Sorry to hear about that. Hi, Mal Mal. How you doing? Cynthia. Thanks, everybody, for popping in. We're going to have lots of books. And we have, I will probably be doing, a, I'm, I was going to just do it on just when, but because I'm going to be showing all these books, I might do a special giveaway today. Um, what do you call, um, Our Faithful Mess sent lots of books for giveaways. She sent lots of books for giveaways. And she also sent stamps so that I can pay for it to give it them away. <laughs> So bless you, faithful. Uh, so she's on her way to work. So I won't show her. And, you know, I'll try to wait and show her stuff after she gets here. She says she, she'll pop in after she gets to work. So I'm going to wait till she gets here to show her happy mail. I know. She's so sweet, isn't she, Kimberly? Well, all of y'all are sweet. You're all sweet. You're sweet to be here. Hi, Kat. Kimberly, let's have had a Kimberly, Kimberly and Kim, Joey, Darla, uh, hi, Teresa, Teresa, I started working some on your page, let me show you here, let me go over, let me bring my, I've got a cut, look, I bought a thing for the, for the, um, my, my, <laughs> I know it's kind of funny, I bought a, a happy planner, uh, case, even though, you know, my, mine's not a planner, but I bought the case to keep stuff in, to keep stuff in that I'm going to use on the, uh, that I'm going to use in the uh, uh, Fibs, so hard for me to say, I don't know why, YouTube yearbook. So um, where's, there's Faithful, I'm working on hers. I'm working on, let me find Teresa. This is Jamie's. I started on, um, I started on Teresa's. Here, I started on your page, Teresa. <laughs> Use some of the envelopes and uh, so I can put stuff in that. So I started on your page. I haven't got very far on it yet. I wasn't, I was busy over the weekend. Saturday we did yard work. Sunday we went up to Denise's and this just sits in here. It's not even like in, it's not like attached. I could, I could stick the, um, I could stick the book in the, in a sleeve, but I'm just have it sitting here. So it's easy for me to, I can take it out. I have stuff in here. I have pockets here. Here's some of um, Teresa's little envelopes that I'm going to use on other people's pages. And then over here, there's this section here. I don't know if you've ever seen these guys. The Happy Planner cases. I got this one specifically to hold stuff that I'm going to use for the year tube. The year, you see, I can't say it. Year tube. YouTube yearbook. <laughs> So I, I, I'm working on pages. And so this one's Teresa's that I started on with some of the stuff she sent. So, um, you know, if I just have a little card from you, a little sticker, a business card, then I have something to start your page with. So, you know, if you want to be in it, you know. I just have to have a little tiny something, something to get started. Don't You don't have to send me books and a big envelope like Teresa did a stuff. Don't, you don't have to do that. One little business envelope with a sticker in your business card. Something that says you. Hi, Laura. I did. Ha I have Laura's page in here. So let me show y'all the pages that I do have. I mean, I do have a, like, here's a page, uh, Denise and my mom. Why is there, does it need a, do I need an overhead light? Does this look good? I guess it looks okay. Uh, I'm trying to kind of make sure the light's okay. Then here's Cam and Boo. What do I have in here? There's nothing right there. There's my other, my other, I have all my kids and everybody in here. There's my cats, my other kids. 
Uh-uh. Hi, Victoria. Don't forget, guys, if you're talking to me, put it in caps. Hi, Janet. Uh, let's see. So here's Faithful's um, Faithful Messes page I started. You know, she has water um, washi tape swatch books that I uh, hope she'll start selling again. So I put those in there, have some little, um, little things that I cut out to put in here, little sticker right here. Um, let's see. So I'm, I'll add some more stuff from her, um, happy mail. I'm going to add some more stuff from her happy mail. Let's see. What else do I have here? My garden. Here's APG Jamie. Here's, there's her a letter she wrote and then some stuff from APG Jamie. Let's see what else do I have. Here's Zandra's page. And again, what's nice is you can just keep adding. You can just put a little paper clip and keep adding stuff. So I have Zandra's YouTube channel, her, uh, her uh, online store. Here's Norma, who is... Um, in, well, you can we we've talked about you know where she is, what she does, her limo company and her her jewelry company. You need those little sticker photos on each person. Yeah, um, I don't. There's not. I don't have enough for. I mean, there's not that many here. This is like a little book that I got. You know, of uh, different different girls and different stuff. I can try to put one as until I run out. You know. I used one of these at the front cover and then let's see. So yeah, all different. Uh, this one is the, uh, what is it called again? The wrong, wrong. Is that how it's R O N G R O N G. That's the name of this line. But anyway, so I've been putting little, I've been putting stickers here and there. Um, so there's Norma's page. Then here's Teresa. Like I said, I started Teresa and then I got some blanks. And then, oh, I want to show you because I don't want you to see what she sent me yet. But Zeely sent me something. I'm going to show that today. But I don't want you to see what it says on here what it is. So I don't want to, I don't want to read that. I mean, I don't want you to see that yet. <laughs> oh, that's in a little bit. So, and then I got these, I got this. You are doing a freaking great job. For these, I want to tear out and use them on those pages. So they're just like little sayings and little, you know, you're awesome kind of things. Don't count the days, make the days count. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Just little happy little sayings that I want to use in the U YouTube yearbook. <laughs> Laura, I got the name from Laura. I love the name, but I never can say it right. You, I want to I wanna say YouTube Fibs yearbook. <laughs> Hi Janet, did I say good morning to you? So anybody else popping in that I miss? So uh <laughs> just send me the cover. <laughs> did you see the cover? Did you see the cover of the happy planner cover that I'm using for the book? <laughs> Is that what you're talking about, Janet? Or the cover of what? I don't know. I'd miss something. The cover of something. Oh, this one? Oh, you're doing a freaking <laughs> You want that one? You want that one on your page, Jan? And I'm sure it's actually, it's probably actually in here. If you want that one on your page, I will put it on your page. <laughs> Call it the YTFB. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyway, um, yeah. So these are books that I got at Barnes and Noble when we went up and saw the kids this weekend. And, um, yeah, I donated my um, I donated my big uh, cactus garden that I did here a couple months ago. <coughs> There's like a little video of it on my YouTube channel. Um, I, I we did a cactus garden, and I love it. And but I wasn't thinking when I did it because you know I have it outside on the porch in the full sun on my front porch. Well, I didn't. I wasn't thinking very much. What am I going to do with it in the winter? <coughs> I can't bring it in with the cats. So I gave that to Cameron. He loves cactus and succulents. And he has, Boo got him uh, this round terrarium that you hang. And it and the terrarium is full of um, succulents and cactus. So he has a quite the collection. So I gave him my uh, cactus garden as part of his birthday present. Because, yeah. He'll he'll take it, you know, he'll take care of it. So hopefully. 
But anyway, so let's see who else am I missing? <clears throat> Lisa, Rochelle, Rick. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm, I got hot coffee here, but I think I'm going to have to go get some orange juice. So, um, yeah, then here's the cats. Let's just let them sit down. Little little princess. Oops, sorry. This is the little princess. Um, yeah, Malibu. So she wants to be up here. Now you can't go over there. No, you and your brother cannot go by the computer. You'll unplug me. <clears throat> so, hi, Joe Beth. I said, I said hi to AJ. Zoe. But anyway, so I started, I worked a little bit in the book. That's about all I had time to do other than yard work this weekend and uh, going up to, no, no, oh, you're going to have to get down, baby. You, you, you're going to have to get down. Oh, you're going to, oh, oh, get down. Oh. <coughs> they want, I don't care if they come right here, but when they start coming over here, to, they'll unplug me. They'll unplug the stream and I don't want them to do that. Uh, let's say I want to email you something. May I have your, well, you'll have to email me, uh, Rachel. I'm not going to put my, I'm not putting my address here. <laughs> email me, Rachel. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I've been uh, showing. <clears throat> Hang on. I've got to go get some juice or something, guys. Hang on. <clears throat> Okay, some orange juice. I got a little bite of uh, pumpkin cake. I don't usually eat till after I stream, but I gotta get my voice going. I don't talk to anybody after Hubster leaves so early in the morning. <laughs> so, let's see here. Uh, let's see, what am I missing? Don't forget, guys, if you're talking to me, put it in caps. Okay, hopefully my voice. Oh, I got to tell y'all this. I wrote a note to tell y'all, too. Remember last week, um, I showed you that, you know, hang on, I'm going to go find it here. Uh, Denise always posts pictures that, well, not always, but she posts pictures to me and mom of what she gets boo ready for lunch uh, in message. Me, mom, and Denise in the mornings are together at lunch. So, so like this, this is one of boo's lunches. And <laughs> so we were all talking, I told y'all last week about uh, she, me and, and my mom did not know what these uh, pea puffs were. So these pea puffs, these things right here, me and my mom, neither one said, what is that? That boo likes these pea puffs? What are those? So Denise posted another picture a couple days later of lunch for boo with the pea puffs. And so I said, <laughs> I said, well, there's those elusive pea puffs again. And Denise laughed. She goes, they're at Costco and Publix. I asked her, in the veggie section or under lock and key behind the counter? And Denise goes, there's going to be a guy in the far right corner. Ask for Joe. He can take you to the special section behind the curtain after you sign the waiver. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Oh my gosh. Good morning, Pagola. <laughs> As for Joe. 
That's where you get the pee puffs. Oh my gosh. I know. I had one at Denise's, Barbara. When we went up there this weekend, I had one. They are good. Hubster didn't care for them, but I liked them. So, hi, Scoops. <laughs> oh, I know. She's she's hilarious. I'm hoping that when mom comes uh, to visit, she'll be here. Two, I think she'll be here two weeks. She'll be at Christmas. For at first, I thought it was Thanksgiving. Then she said it was. Uh, then then Denise and mom said it's it's Christmas. So mom's going to be here at Christmas for two weeks. So when she's here, I'm hoping to get Denise and mom to stream with me. <laughs> Denise is a hoot. I'm telling you, she is. If y'all if y'all have seen her on stream before, it's been a while. Mm -hmm. So hopefully. <laughs> So the elusive pea puffs. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, they are yummy, Arlene. I liked them. Hubster th didn't care for them, but I did. Boo had this like huge bag of them in her pantry. She brought them out so I could uh, I could uh, <laughs> have one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, when you get a specially locked down section. Exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, do I want to start with these books? Do I want to start with happy? Oh, let me, all right, here, I'll show you what we're going to do. I'm not going to show, I'm going to try to wait till um, fa our faithful mess gets here to um, show her stuff. I mean, she probably won't be able to stay for the whole thing. Uh, because there's a lot, <laughs> but uh, I want to wait. When Faithful Mess gets here, we'll do her. Um, we'll do her happy mail. So I did get this, and I did ask her if I could say her name. She said, you know, she said just say her first name is Katie. So Katie uh, sent this. Um, she sent me the new the Jane Davenport, and let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. She sent me the Jane Davenport because y'all know I bought this one. I bought this one thinking, I bought this one uh, last, well, a week before last, thinking that it was the same size as the other one of these kind. I forget the exact name of the other one. The one I took apart and put in this book, right? So I took the other Jane book apart and put it in here. So I said, well, I'm going to get the new, her new one. And I'll add it to it. Well, look, it's not the same size. I, I didn't, I'll, guys, make sure when you buy books at Amazon, you check the size. Because, you know, you just think, you assume, because they have a close-up picture, right? They got this close-up picture. You assume it's a big book. <laughs> not that I don't love it. Trust me, it's an awesome little book. You know, it's got the same kind of stuff as this and the other book that I took apart and put in my sketchbook. So I, I had thought I'd bought the bigger ones. Well, uh, Katie bought, because I said that on stretch, she bought me this bigger one. So what I'm going to do with this, if I, I, I think it will, oh, there's Zeely. Hold, there's Zeely. I got happy mail from Zeely too. So anyway, um, Whimsical and Wild, and it's her new one. And it's got the 100, 100 specialty art paper stickers, drawings to paint color and customize, right? So that's what I did with the other book. I customize here. I'm gonna have to move this because it's not. I'm not gonna. It's not gonna lie flat here. So I had taken my other one apart and put it in in here along with. So what I did is I took the whole book apart and I washi taped them into a blank journal. And then what I've done is use this for my swatch journal. So that's not so much in the back, more toward the front. But I want to show you how I washi taped in. I washi taped in all the pages from that other book. And then I used it. Here, let's get a little closer to the front where I've used it more. I put in my own swatches, test pages. Um, so if I tested, here's a coloring test page. Um, more swatches with different products. So that's what I'm using this book for, swatching, testing, color test. Uh, I'll probably use it for uh, uh, design-seeds.com, color combinations. So that's what I have using this for, okay? So you can see, 
I've got different products in here. The watercolors. And I just thought, what a colorful, pretty book. And at the same time, I have all the Jane pages tor torn out of the book and washi taped in in the book. Okay, I don't, oh, hey, Linda. I got that Jane book last week. Oh, good, Kim. So anyway, what I did with my other one was take it apart, washi tape it front and back. If you only washi tape it on one side, it's not going to hold up. Plus, you're going to have a sticky bit on the other side. So if you washi tape something into a book, you need to do it front and back. Okay. So you can see I've got all kinds of, um, then I did some smack and dragon. Here's some more color tests, the Poscas, some of her stickers and collage papers just stuck in there. More smack and dragon. So this, this, look how pretty and fun this is. I love this book. So what I'm going to do with the book Katie sent me is do the same thing. I'm going to take it apart. <laughs> I'm going to deconstruct it. That sounds better. I'm going to deconstruct it and uh, deconstruct this one and uh, uh, put them in as well. Now, this one's a little wider. So I think what I'll do is when I cut them out, they're all perforated, by the way. Well, let me see. Let's. Okay, so here, let's just go ahead. Look, look, Janet. <laughs> Um, yeah, exactly, Sean. So what I'm going to do, let's take the first, and then she has work time sheets and little things on creativity. All right, so let's just, let's see, is this page perforated? Nope, that one's not perforated. I guess they start perforating them right here. So I think what I, per if I tear it out on the <clears throat> perforation, it should be the right size. Let's see. Yeah, okay, that'll work. So let's go to a blank page just so I can kind of test here. I have to find some. I have to find some blank pages. Because <clears throat> I did use up almost all the book. But like I have this uh, the other side. So if I put this in, if I put it really tight, or I might just trim it. I'll just trim it down just the slightest bit so that when I washi tape it, it doesn't hang out, hang off the edge, right? So I'll just trim it down, washi tape it in. And so that's what I'm going to do with this book too. I'm going to deconstruct it. So let me do a little flip for you. <laughs> uh, hi, RP. Anybody else? I miss a Sean L.I. Um, don't forget, guys, if you talk to me, put it in, in caps. <clears throat> okay. Hi, Nick and Tina. So I'm going to just do a little flip through here. And it's like her other book, except this one's got animals. Okay. Y'all know I love me some animals. That's what my favorite thing to do when I make my own big posters. Other than my collage posters, I love making animal posters. So um, it's just so cute, isn't it? I mean, colorful as well. Plus, you know, you can color yourself. And she has different kinds of papers. She writes on like this one's coloring paper. Uh, so they're different kind of papers. And she says them on the inside um, spine there. Keep the drama for your art. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I just love this. And then these papers are craft. She just calls them craft paper, although they're thin. They're not really... They're not like Strathmore craft paper. They're just craft color paper, and they're a little thinner. So look, uh, isn't this a cool book? Is everybody liking this book? No need to flip for us. Cartwheels will be fine. <laughs> so they're just, it's just so cute. So thank you, Katie, for sending it. I Again, I will be deconstructing it and adding it into my Jane book. That's what I'm calling the sketchbook here, my Jane book. Make your own rainbow. Look, see, look. Look how pretty and colorful. Then these papers, now we're into, this is watercolor paper. And it's it's textury, you know, it's textury like, a, I'm not sure if it's official watercolor paper, but it's got the texture of watercolor paper. And it's a little cream color. It's a little off-white. So look, y'all know, y'all know I love me some sloths and lemurs. 
So anyway, and then back here's some thin uh, collage papers, a couple of pages of those, and then there's some stickers. So these are some stickers here. So again, I will be deconstructing this and adding it to this book, which is already getting a little chunky, which I don't mind. Y'all know I don't mind chunky books. So uh, yeah. <clears throat> So there's uh, there's that. So thank you, Katie, for that book because it's gonna go it's gonna go into my fun Jane book. I know, right? You can get it on Amazon, and uh, it just came out just came out a couple weeks a week or two ago. So it's called Whimsical and Wild, Jane Davenport Happy Hour Art Journal. So yeah, all right. So. There's that. All right. So while Zeely's here, let me go ahead and show you what Zeely said. Okay. So wait, let's put this away. I want to keep the little cards. So on Zeely, I've already started her page here. Here's Zeely. I started Zeely's page and I stuck her little gift tags in here to start. And uh, again, let me show y'all this. This again is my, it's a, it's a fun, it's a, Franken planner because I took it. There's no planner in here. All the pages in this book are um, punched, cut and punched myself. There's no happy planner pages in here. It's all for the YouTube Fibs yearbook. <laughs> and uh, so again, I started on Teresa's page and I just did a flip a second ago. So I started here's on Zeely's page. And again, let me take this out to show you what I'm doing here. So I've got all kinds of different uh, notes and stickers and things from people to make their pages. I did put this one sticker book in here because I thought it's it's perfect for the um, for the fibs, friends in the box. <clears throat> so anyway, that's in here. And how this planner looks is it's got all these pockets. And these come out. These are um, velcroed. It's for a happy. It's for your happy planner, right? Uh oh. Let's see. We got the light kind of went wonky because of the black. And then it's got another section here with pockets and zippers and pockets. But what I'm doing with it is I'm setting my book in here because that's where I'm keeping <laughs> keeping all the stuff. Okay. So let me show you what Zeely sent. <laughs> so she, y'all know, if y'all don't know, I'm just, I'll say it again. What I'm going to be doing in October, I'm going to be doing my Inktober monster, movie monster, my way. Because I'm not going to try to copy the movie monsters, you know, photos from the old movies and stuff exactly. I'm going to be doing them my way. I, I did a sample one. Hang on, let me get that out. I did a sample one last week. I'm going to be doing them uh, in my 11 by 14 sketchbook. So let me show you the one. This is going to be my Inktober intro page. I took a photograph of it with this feather. So this is my intro page. I put that little, the little thing right there. So I photographed this. This is going to be my Inktober 2019 intro page with the feather on it. Let me move that. And uh, I did last week. I did a uh, Frankenstein. Let me get through my sketchbook here. Did this one last week to show you kind of where I'm going with them. I'm not trying to copy the Frankenstein exactly. I want to do it my way. Oh, let's see. Somebody says, um, "Let's see, cat." Good morning, Dee Dee. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Ian. <laughs> Ian is determined to have me draw the blob. Somebody else can't wait till I draw the invisible man. <laughs> Although the invisible man has sunglasses and like wrapped. So yeah. But anyway, so this is the kind of things I'm going to do for Inktober. So I'm going to be doing Inktober Monsters My Way. I'm going to do a, a pumpkin. My yearly collage pumpkin, which I'll show you my plan for that in a minute. And um, and my Poe book. So I did pick up one other thing for the Poe book. Oh, and I did print out some more Poe's. So I printed out, because y'all remember in my Poe book, we messed up, I messed up the Poe picture. 
So I printed out some sepia tone pose. So I got some pose. <laughs> and then I've got some um, netting to put in the bottom of the box where the book is going to sit in the box. So I bought some netting uh, for the Poe book. So <laughs> Zeely <laughs> got me this. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Poe me a cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so she got me this po me a cup and then she got look guys oh my gosh i i couldn't tell you how thrilled i was to get this. she got me john landis's monsters in the movies a hundred years of cinematic nightmares <laughs> so thank you so much zeely i love them both <laughs> so anyway oh my goodness <laughs> uh yeah, well, no not really i'm not really in love with poe but uh, i'm excited to do my poe book and i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the raven you know did you, you saw this last week didn't you guys most of you Here's kind of the where we're going with them. This is the box. Wait, it's upside down. This is the box. And instead of this guy here, it's going to be one of these poses. So I think I'm going to put them in a little frame and put him in there in a little frame like that. But here's the raven. We did this last Wednesday, decorated the box, and it got a little seal there. Have a has a little quill, uh, quill um, pin nib, rather, pin nib there. And so this is the, uh, and this isn't glued down yet because I have to, you know, get Poe in there. But the, the book, the book is going to have Poe. I'm going to start with the Raven. We'll see how much room I have to do anything. And this is one of Mark's little faux leather books. And I added some gold rub and buff on it. And I forget how many pages we said, in, said are in here, but I want to do some calligraphy and some printout, some writing. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it yet. But it's going to have Poe. My Poe book has its own little Poe box. And it's going to have, I'm going to put this netting netting in here as well. <clears throat> so, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, working on that this October, which starts tomorrow. Right? It's tomorrow the 1st. But anyway, so Zeely sent, let me see if I can make some space here. <clears throat> Zeely sent me the John Landis Monsters in the Movies. And it's just, oh, it's so awesome. It's just, let me kind of do a flip through. Look, it's just got every like movie monster. It's just so cool with little excerpts from the movies. <clears throat> I'm just so excited. There's a glare. Hang on. Let me uh, prop something up here. Let's put this little book here. Let's put that little book there. So it's a little. So isn't that cool? Poe used to be great. Let's wing po. Oh, brother. Ian. <laughs> so anyway, I'm really excited to read this and look through it with all the monsters. I already have a list. I have a list of about. You know, I only need 31. I only need 31 for the uh, month because I'm doing one a day for Inktober. But I have a list with about 40, 45 of them so I can pick and choose so I can, you know, I have no, uh, here's like the Cyclops. I have no particular order that I'm going to do them in. I'm just going to go down my list and wh whichever one I come across that I feel like drawing that day. But the Cyclops is uh, from Sinbad, Voyage of Sinbad. That's on my list, too. There's a little Skeletons from uh, Voyage or one of the Sinbad movies. And there's the Medusa. I have her on there. So anyway, it's just uh, there's I saw the mummy back there. So this is just an awesome reference. I love it. I love all the um, I love all the. Uh, information about each one. There's Frankenstein there. So thank you so much, Zeely. I am so excited to get into this. 
<clears throat> I don't know if I want to put any quotes. I don't know. Um, I, I thought about it, but I don't know if I want to put any quotes with my Inktober because I'm going to be doing a lot of calligraphy with the Poe book. So probably won't do much quotes with this one. Anyway, so do you stream? No, I don't stream every day, Sherry. I'll do a few. I post every day. I'll post Inktober every day on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, but I won't stream every day. So probably once a week, I'll stream one. You know, like I did that Frankenstein last week as a pre, you know, a pre-Inktober sketch. Uh, I'll probably do one a week. So I might do four live. Unless I just do some, if I, you know, feel like it, I could just record not a live show, but just a recording of a few. So it just all depends on the day and how it goes, you know, Um just getting them posted every day. You know, if you, if anybody's done, this will be my fifth year doing uh, Inktober, completing Inktober. This will be my fifth year. And, uh, you know, not only do you have to draw it, but you got to photograph it and make sure the lighting is, you know, clear and crisp. Then, you know, then you post it on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. That's where I post them. And it's, it's, you know, it's more than just an hour. <laughs> so it depends on how my days go. If I have time to also film them, you know, so we'll see. But anyway, I, I just love this. And um, so let me show you a little bit there about John Land is there. If you can read it, the thing, the projects he's been involved in. So, Yeah. So thank you so much, Zeely. I love that. And my Poe cup. Poe me a cup. I love that. I love that. It was so funny. It cracked me up when I opened that box, Zeely. When I opened that box and saw that, oh, my gosh. Okay, Faithful Miss is here. Okay, so while she's here, she's at work. Uh, let me go ahead and show her stuff while she's able to be here, okay? All right. So first off, let me say I did cover up the addresses. I have two boxes this big. Two. These things weigh a ton. Look how pretty these boxes are. Look how deep they are. These boxes, just to show you how big they are, these things are chunky and heavy. Now, I did take a peek. I'm going to tell you. I did peek. <laughs> and they're all wrapped so nice. And I left the wrapping on and just kind of took a peek. I didn't uh, didn't take everything apart yet. Um. So let's just start with this now. She and I'll just start by saying she did send me postage, which I'm going to show that too. And I know I'm just going to totally embarrass her, but I'm going to shout her out. So faithful mess. <laughs> I did start working. Let me show. She just got here. Let me show you her page. I'm starting. On. Let me find it. Where's my faithful mess page in my book? Here it is. So <clears throat> here's the start of faithful mess's page. So, yeah, and I call her Our Faithful Mess. So, yeah, there's Faithful Mess. And I put a little, I took this out of this new book I bought, the You Are Doing a Freaking Great Job, and the, my little, and I just paper clipped it in here. Always believe something wonderful is about to happen. So there's my little prayer for you, Faithful Mess. So, and all the washi tape, so my little sticker girl. So I started her double page spread here. Now, so here we go. <laughs> I, let's see. Ian says, have done a pre-Inktober warrant up video and cannot even do Inktober. You're going to get sucked in? You're going to get sucked in. You're going to do Inktober, Ian. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, Janet's going to do it. Do it, Ian. <laughs> okay, so I covered up our addresses. So I love these boxes. And she's got little stickers and everything was taped up so nice, so pretty. Okay, so here, let's open this up. Her theme was pirates. So when I told her that, um, she told me that she was sending me and she sent a pirate picture. Here's the inside of the box. I went, argh. <laughs> so she's doing a pirate theme thing. But look at this. I'm going to have to figure out how I can use some of this because I love all this pirate, pirate theme stuff. Hi, Carrie Ann. Anybody else I missed? 
<laughs> All right, so now let's move this back. Again, I'll show you. I did peek a little bit. She had everything <clears throat> totally wrapped up and washi taped. And you know, Faithful is our washi tape. So I'm going to, I'll be able to peel some of this off and put it on her pages. So everything was, oh, and then she also had packed in all the sides. She put in some, um, <coughs> they're not bubble mailers, but they're the padded, ma you know, like the puffy ma uh, mailers. She had everything stuffed with those mailers, which I can use to mail things. So anyway, she had that. Are we still with the tour people? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this out. And look at the bottom of the box. The bottom of the box, she has other little pirate thing in here. See, I want to be able to take it out. I guess, I don't know, it's stuck there. She taped it, I mean, glued it. But I love these boxes. Here comes the cats. So anyway, it's all pirate themed. All right, so now let me move this box out of the way here. I know the cats don't want to look at that. <laughs> so this was all wrapped up in this box. And again, I just took a peek. I did take the paper off, but look. Look at this Mama Jamba stack of color books. So we have plenty to give away. And again, she did send plenty of postage, guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Faithful Mess, for that. I'm gonna show I'll show y'all that in the next box. So I'm I haven't unwrapped this yet. So let me move this paper. A little ASMR moment. And if y'all have not watched Faithful's newest video, I've only watched a little bit of it. But she has her daughter on there arting with her. Oh, my gosh. A cutie pie. What a cutie pie. It was. I left a comment, Faithful, on it um, that I hadn't finished watching it yet. But, oh, my gosh. Y'all have to go watch Faithful Mess um, YouTube. All right. So let me move this. We're going to unwrap this. <laughs> I know, right? So we're going to give, we'll be giving them away. Janet said, you only should give one a week. Don't, you know, so we'll see how it goes because I don't want to get overwhelmed going to the post office, you know, because I do have to go there. But um, she did send postage for, I think she, guys, I think she sent 10 or 12, um, 10 or 12 uh, sheets of stamps. So, yeah, it's so she was so generous to do that because she, you know, it does, you know, she sends out a lot of happy mail herself, guys. She does send out a lot of happy mail herself. All right, so let's go ahead and look. I know it was so pretty. I want to see if I don't want to see if I can untie it because I would like to keep the bow. Let's see if I can do that. So faithful, thank you so much. Let's see. Am I gonna be able to get this undone or I'm gonna have to cut it? Well, she got a good knot in there. Let's see. Where does it end? Where does the knot go? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure where it goes. Okay. I'm going to leave that and I'll cut it from the back so that I can just like keep it for something. Like cut it like this. So there we go. All right. <clears throat> so I can still use the bow. Oh, the cats are all into something. All right. So this, these are what uh, our faithful mess, mess sent us. Thank you, Pacola. There's a link to her channel, guys. So she sent two Island Escapes. I don't know if y'all have ever seen any of these. There's Island Escape. There's, there's like four, I think, different ones. And they're on watercolor paper. It's like... Uh, an off-white cream. Now, it's it's a softer watercolor paper. Um, I mean, it's it's textured like watercolor paper, but you don't want to oversaturate this. Don't just slap on a bunch of water and do a wet and wet technique. You don't want to do that in this book. But it's a <laughs> and it's J Jade Gedeon, J A D E G E D E O N. Okay, and it's there's they're so cool. Let me get to some of the pages. So it's got fold out pages. <clears throat> like every few of them have fold out pages. And it's like a travel. It's like a travel sketchbook that's been printed on. Here the cat and the paper over there. 
uh, printed on like a, um, a watercolor paper. Look, so cool. The Islandscape is great for practicing watercolor. She sent me that book. I love it. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's awesome for practice. Oh, baby. Do I have to take that? <laughs> She's trying to bury herself in that paper. <laughs> in the box. So it's just so cool. Let's see, let me get another one where it pulls out. Here we go. So isn't that cool, guys? I just kind of want to give you all a little show and tell. There's another one. And they're just like, it's like you've gone on the journey with the with Jade. <laughs> The clothes and just patterns and, you know, just little, it's just an awesome little book. I say little, it's, you know, it's uh, uh, thick. It's just a little, you know, on the, you know, smaller square size, like probably eight, eight by eight, something like that. So anyway, there's those. She sent two of those. Oh my gosh. What are you doing, baby girl? You having fun? You having fun in there? Okay. <laughs> and then here is um, Mademoiselle Cat's coloring for mindfulness. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I don't mind. If she's. Oh, you gonna know, lay down? But I'm gonna have to. It's gonna get loud. I mean, she's gonna be playing with that the whole time. Um, <laughs> so this one's Cat's, and uh, I love it when they have these little flip out. So look at this one, guys, with the cats. All cats. Hi, Keisha. I know I'm missing people coming in. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for all the thumbs up. Yeah, give all our uh, happy mail girls thumbs up. <clears throat> so, yeah, Zeely and Faithful. Thank you. And Katie sent the Jane book. Not on social media, though. Katie is not. I don't even think she comes here. I think she's lurks. So, uh, but I did ask if I could say her first name so she could, uh, you know. Because she sent, uh, oh my gosh, I got to take it. I got to show you all this. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I got to show you all this. Oh, let me crop it down a little. Look, there's Malibu. On the paper, on the box. <laughs> Hi, Colleen with D. Welcome from the California Delta. And these are so okay. Well, be careful. Don't overdo. Don't overdo coloring with D. So she sent two of these. I'm, again, let me flip. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. The little looks on their faces. And they're so true, too. Cats are really like that. <laughs> So, yeah. Which cat are you? Sophisticat or alley cat? Sad cat or happy cat? Mangy kitten or posh Persian? Sleepy cat, aroba cat, or inscrutable cat? Oh, that's so cute. So, anyway, she sent two of those. <laughs> are y'all liking the happy mail? I've already ordered it because of you. <laughs> well, we're going to do a giveaway. So y'all uh, hang on. Hang on. We're going to do some giveaways. Oh, well, I'm only going to do one one today. Um, the Night Voyage. If y'all have Daria's song. I don't think I have The Night Voyage. I have her other voyages. I have Daria's song's other voyages. I don't think I have The Night Voyage. So I don't think this is going to be new to flip through. But she has the same little girl. She has the same little girl in all the her Daria song in all her books. <clears throat> I've I've done a few color book pages in Daria song. I really I really enjoy them because they're like uh, surrealistic and you know different perspectives like this. <clears throat> they're very uh, they're very different perspective wise. 
So she sent us two of these. And they have some some uh, text in it. Look at this one right here, looking down, looking down at the desk. There's the chair and her desk. You love Night Voyage? Yeah, I don't think I, I don't have Night Voyage. I have uh, I, I forget the names of them now. I don't know if they're listed in here. Let's see, Time Garden. I have Time Garden and Time Chamber. Mm -mm, those two. So there's the Night Voyage. We've got two of those. Then she said the time garden got two of these. Now I do have this one, I think. I have the time ones. And again, it's the same little girl with the little stories. Well, I'm gonna have to see it. Look, let me look on my shelf in a minute. See which one I, I've cut so I can show you some of them colored. <clears throat> so um Faithful Mess sent us all these for giveaways. So let's see, real quick, let me look. If I can just put my hand right on it. I don't know if I can, but I'm gonna look. No, but it's not right here on this shelf. So I need to dig, and I don't want to dig right now. So, so Faithful Mess sent us all these. So I think what I'm going to do about 10 o'clock, we get up, you know, and I always say this, and I, you all know I'm going to give them away, give books, do giveaways regardless if we get up to, you know, 100 and whatever. We'll get up to 125 likes. Then I'll do a giveaway, and whoever wins can pick which one of these four they want. They can either choose the time garden, the night voyage, the cats, or island escape. So we're going to do well, at 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, as long as, you know, no internet interruptions or anything like that, we'll do a giveaway at 10 o'clock. Okay? So give give thumbs up, for the, especially for the girls that sent all this stuff for us to enjoy. All right? So I'm going to set these aside long enough to show you the next box. Okay, so again, it's the same kind of box. Oop, let's not get any addresses shown there. Open this up. So it's the same kind of thing. This one, she put these scenes in here, in this one here. And it's kind of, you know, an old-timey, like, pirate-type ship. Okay, she put that in there. Now let's see if I can take everything out here, show you the bottom of the box. And again, she had everything packed. She had everything packed with extra shipping uh padded envelopes please note this video may contain cat hurting yes Ian. oh my gosh yes at 10 o'clock we'll do a giveaway so again look she you know she she has tape and look at this with the world these paper and tapes and all this little and this is all individually glued down things guys she took some time she took some time to do these boxes Okay, so let's set that aside. All right, so let me hold this. Let me do this one second. Then she sent, now let's make sure this, yeah, hang on. Let me put some, uh, let me put some post-its on the. She sent a separate envelope. She sent those two boxes, and then she sent a separate uh, envelope. <clears throat> she sent a separate envelope here. And look, look how she decorated the envelope. She took some time, people, to do this. I'm telling you, Faithful. She took some time to do this. Look at this envelope. I'm sure the the mailman and, you know, all of them got a big kick out of this. So this was a separate one. She sent that uh, as part, a, a third thing. Okay. <clears throat> so this one, she has my name on it. And I did peek, but I wanted to kind of keep it as wrapped as I could so that y'all could see how she wrapped everything up so nice. Hi, Anastasia, Judy, Kenny. Hi, Kenny. Rachel, I know I'm missing people coming in. Thanks, everybody, for coming in. Don't forget to thumbs up so we can do the giveaway. We'll do it anyway at 10 o'clock. Okay, so she sent these books. Again, we're all wrapped up in this pretty tissue paper. She had Dee Dee on here, so I'm going to have to, you know, take some of this off and put it on her page, on her um, Fibs yearbook page. So she has all this tape on here. Now I want to, I want to, I want to keep the tape. See, I want to put this in her book. Let's find a little spot for it down here. Let's put the love right here on that little spot. 
just kind of wrap that around so the rug can be on the other page too. But anyway, look at this, guys. She has everything wrapped up so nice. I want to put this tape on something. Hang on, because I want to keep it. Let's put it on this. I have this other paper here. I think that won't stick to that. All right. Well, still with the tour. Hang on. Everything wraps so nice. I'm going to put another love on her page. There's a little piece of it there. Okay. All right, let me check chat here. All right, I think I got all the tape off. Okay, oh, one more piece. <clears throat> so if y'all remember, well, I'll, I'll go, I'll tell that in a minute. Okay, so she says, A Field Guide to the North American Family, an illustrated novella. And it's, it's a story, but look at the, it has illustrations and photos and like little, you know, they're not exactly tip-ins. They're, you know, they go along with the story. So I love these kind of books. I have many of them. If you know Nick Bantock, uh, that, that has the Nick Bantock kind of feel. Nick Bantock has little envelopes in his, though, and you pull out the story. This one just kind of has them printed on the page. So I love these kind of stories. So I'm anxious to read that. All right, I'm, I got to get out of it. It's in my head now. <laughs> Thanks, Judy. And then another novel. This one's called Chopsticks. And it's probably one of these teen ones. Now, if y'all remember, do I have it in here? Um, a while back, or maybe about a month ago, Faithful showed this book. Hang on. I don't want to open her pack yet. I want to she sent another. Okay. So about a month ago, Faithful showed this book on her stream and it's what it is it's called the rookie year book this is number three there's four i think there's four I, I i finally bought all four of them but she showed this on her stream i go oh my gosh i gotta get that so i ordered i did do a little thumb through of it here you know a month ago and what it is it's um Tavi Gavison's and her friends, and they did their own type of yearbook. Okay, there's stickers, there's collage stuff, there's tons of stories, cartoons, and it's like their own yearbook, right? And it's just full of stories about teenage angst, and I am so enjoying reading it. Um, and again, so I, I bought, ended up buying all four of them. They came out in like 2000. Let's see. Let's see here. This one is 2014 in year three. Okay. So anyway, so Faithful knows I like those kind of things. So look, this is kind of the same thing. It's going to be kind of, you know, a teenage love story. I haven't looked at too much through it, but that's kind of what it, you know, is like with lots of photographs. I just love those, these kind of books. So she sent so she sent me these two. <clears throat> and uh, she sent all those color books for you guys. And then she has little notes here. Booty for Arg, favorite captain. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in my, my faithful book, a uh, faithful page. So what she did, because she knew I liked those, she sent two of them for the fifth. So I have two of these. Two of them for the fifth. As you can see, I did take that off. <laughs> so she sent two of the rookie yearbook number three for the fibs. They're so cool, guys. If you just, you know, if you like reading, I mean, I do. I like, I like keeping up with young people. <laughs> I know. So we have these to give away. And then she sent, hang on, make sure there's no addresses or anything. So here she sent, uh, this was all inside. Dee Dee, you spoil us rotten like a pirate on his birthday. Thank you for sharing your talent with the Fibs Weekly. Hugs and hearts, faith, open. Okay. And then here's another little, um, on Saturday, Captain BC woke 
early. Arr, no days till my birthday, he sang loudly. My birthday. Then he stopped and looked around his cabin. So it's all like this. Um, it's all like um, pirate themed. Everything's pirate themed. It's so cute. Hi, Devin. Let's see. Vicky J. Who else is there? Joan. Thanks, everybody. Keisha. I know I'm missing people. So then she sent, let's see, this little envelope here. Hang on. So in here, she said, now I haven't taken all this out. I just kind of peeked in the envelope. So she can have some of this stuff in her Fibs book too. Let's see. Let's get in here. <clears throat> Hi, Devin. Anybody else? So she sent all kinds of little collage fodder. Look at this. Let's see. Let's see. She says, Yar goodies with your po with Poe in mind. Okay. Oh, look at this. Look at this little book. <laughs> and everything's got the little clip on it. So much attention to detail. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for getting rid of the trolls. I see everybody going bam, bam, bam. Trolls don't last here. <laughs> Just saying. Um, so look at these pretty butterfly, and they just look so vintagey. Thank you so much, Faithful. All of it's so fun. It's all so fun. Let's see what here. She's got some little um, paintings, some little library card pockets with uh, some little uh, has poet on there. Poe might be on here. I don't know. I don't know if Poe would be on it. I don't know if they do. Um, you know what? What? What library? I mean, what uh, dictionary she got these from? But look at that little dictionary pages, little mini dictionary pages, and little library pockets, and then some little, you know, little stamps, little tiny stamps. It's so cute. It's just fun going through it. Hi, Mark, for my Poe book. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. And then in here, guys, she sent, let's see here. Let me open this up. She had, everything's wrapped so nice. And it's pretty gold tissue. Pretty gold tissue. Yeah, these are these are nice for the Poe book because look at the size. See, look. See, this will fit nice. You know? And I'm going to decorate the pages. I'm going to use uh, my Tim Holtz and some other papers, paint. I'm going to decorate all the pages. And then I want to either half print or do calligraphy. I think there's 18 stanzas to the Raven. So I'm going to have to measure out. If I hand write it or do I put it on some parch, do I calligraphy it <laughs> on the parchment paper and do like, you know, one page per, you know, every maybe two stanzas? Well, no, I'd probably only get one stanza on each page uh, if I did it in calligraphy. So I have to plan that out. So we'll see how that goes in my Poe book. Check your live quality. Oh, okay, yeah. Y'all make sure that y'all uh, get knocked back to, you know, 144 or something in your YouTube quality. Everything seems fine here. So hopefully it's just, uh, you know, if it glitched, make sure you reset your quality to 1080 or 720p. We good? Okay, so then she sent, let me take these off. She sent tons of stamps guys <clears throat> a clock page to rip up and collage <laughs> so everything's it's all like like pirate theme so cute <laughs> i love it so let's keep all this i want to let me pile let me make a pile here let's fold this over and put this in here like this so it stays together <clears throat> then she sent all these stamps, guys. I mean, I think we're good for uh, sending out all these. 
she sent all these books. We call them books of stamps, but they're a page of stamps. And they're all so pretty. So they're forever stamps. I, I, I've bought these, I don't know how many times I bought the Sesame Street ones. <clears throat> so thank you so much, Faithful. These ones are, these ones, global, international ones. And then these are dollar ones. And then some other ones here as well. So she sent tons of stamps. So we can, um, okay, thanks, Ian. So that we can uh, send out the, um, the giveaways. So thank you so much for that. That means a lot, Faithful. And I never turn down stamps. Anybody wants to send me a book of stamps, it's free to do so. Because I do send out a lot of happy mail. So there's our happy mail from our Faithful Mess. I'm going to get this here. Let's pull it all together. Get my little clippy here and clip it to shut. Clip it shut. So, I know. Thank you so much. Put my call book back up there. <clears throat> Hi, Judy. I know. Hi, Ann. So, we're going to give away one of the color books um, that Faithfulness sent. So when uh, we do a giveaway, now let me, well, I, I won't give you the rules now because everybody will forget them in 20 minutes. <laughs> but in 20, about 10 o'clock, we'll do a uh, giveaway. Give me, give me lots of thumbs up and at 10 o'clock and then whoever wins can pick one of these. They can either pick Island Escape, Mademoiselle Cats, The Night Voyage, Daria Song. Or the Time Garden, Dar Daria song, I think is how you say it. So these are good. You can pick which one you want uh, in the giveaway. So we'll do that. And again, thank you so much, Zeely. Thank you so much for my Monsters in the Movies, uh, John Landis book. I cannot wait to go through and read this. Because y'all know um, I'm going to be doing Movie Monsters My Way for uh, Inktober. That's going to be my 31 days of, um, and so she sent this for, to me for inspiration, along with my Pomia cup. <laughs> that, that just had me giggling so much, giggling so much when I saw that. <laughs> uh, okay, so <laughs> I know. Thank you so much, Faithful and Zeely. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, you should see this room, guys. I've got to do a, I got to do an organization. I mean, it's, everything's together, but it's piling up. I need to do an organization. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. Put that where the cats can look at it. <laughs> She's still, I mean, oh my gosh, guys, look, I'll have to show you this again. Look at this, Zeely. Look. She's asleep on the paper. On the, the paper's on the box. And she's sleeping on the, she's sleeping on the paper. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Mary, I didn't get to go look at what you were talking about, but Mary's got some kind of project going on. I, I, don't, I think you uh, posted, did you email it to me, Mary, or did you post it on um, YouTube? But Mary's got some kind of fibs project going. But I hadn't had a chance to go look at what she was talking about. But since she's here, since you're here, Mary, what is that project you were talking about? I'll give you, I'll give you all a second to let Mary type or whatever. And I'm going to pull my, my phone haul out here that I bought this weekend. I bought this stuff this weekend after we went uh, up to see... Uh, well, so we especially went to see Cameron because it's his birthday weekend. So I'm going to kind of see if uh, if Mary wants to talk about the project. I'm assuming, Mary, that you put it on one of your videos. Okay, so Mary said she messaged it. I started a playlist, Dee Dee suggestions of Mary mystery vids. Okay. Okay, so y'all make sure and check out Mary Altia. There, there she is right there. Click on her name and follow Mary on YouTube. And then she's got her playlist start going. 
All right. Awesome, Mary. I'll go look at it later. <laughs> oh, that just sounded like uh, Renfield. <laughs> you know, Frankenstein, I mean, Dracula's, um, Dracula's, uh, I don't know what you called him. <laughs> I'm getting in monster, mo movie monster mode. Svengooly. Svengooly had uh, Dracula on Saturday night. The old Dracula. 80-year-old movie. Svengooly said that he did a review or I did a special something of the Dracula movie 30 years ago on their 50th anniversary. 80 years. Is, is, that, is that even possible? <laughs> But anyway, um, the original Dracula was on Sven Gulli on Saturday night. Okay, so let me show you what I I got this weekend at uh, Barnes and Noble. So I bought this cat. Now y'all know, okay? I I I paid. Well, other than um, I'm going to go into this uh, paper off. Other than um, other than getting my calendars for three dollars each at um, Books a Million every the first week of February when all calendars go on sale for $3. I don't pay full price for calendars. I pay full price for this other than my discount, you know, my Barnes and Noble discount because let me take out the cardboard, which I always keep this, this, this these cardboards are always good. If you have a, uh, a, uh, a commission or a portrait or something to use as backing so that it doesn't get bent in the mail. So I have my little stack and I overhear that that away okay so i'll tell you why i bought this and i know there's a glare on it let's see let's prop this up here um the reason i got this particular one well for two reasons one y'all know i love me some collage uh when i do my pumpkin my pumpkin this year i collage do a collage pumpkin every year ah thanks mary i know everybody's welcoming mary hi Kalora. Every year I do a collage pumpkin. Well, I have for three or four years. So I got this specifically for my collage pumpkin. I want to use this and I'm going to use some of my doors. Y'all know the door books that Colleen enabled us on. I'll show you the covers here. These books right here, Doorways and Openings and Doorway and Openings number two, Katherine Anderson. Um, these are you. She does these collection of photographic images to cut out and use in your personal art. So I took all of them out. They're all a whole bunch of doors, small ones and um, larger ones. And I cut them all up, ready to go. Here's the small ones. I'll probably use a little of both. So what I'm going to use now, I already cut this one out and, and cut the door so it, like opens, right? I'm going to do this on my um, pumpkin. I'm going to do um, for my October pumpkin. Well, that's the only time I do it is I'm going to use the woods and I'm going to use the doors. And I still have some left on my abandoned uh, abandoned places calendars. So I might use some of those. But look at this, guys. Let's just take one of these. I'm going to do, do it, give you a little sample. And then, of course, I will do collage uh I will also do collage uh, with these with these pieces. It's going to have a glare because it's shiny. So, but look at this. Right, let me just give you an example here. So, if I had this on here, look, and you could open it. That doesn't even have to necessarily be the woods inside. Inside, I could have outer space. I could have a nebula in there. So, here's a door in the woods on a on a pumpkin. <laughs> A door in the woods on a pumpkin and you open it up and there's outer space. That's my, that's my vision. Okay. That's my vision for my pumpkins. We're only 10 years away from Metropolis. <laughs> I know hundred years old, right? Ian? It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. So that's, this is my plan. I'm going to flip through this calendar. That's why I bought this calendar because of the woods. Look at this. So again, Maybe this will go on. This one will go on the pumpkin, but I, I want to show you how the, the vision. See, look. So then you can open this up. Could be whatever here. Could be over here. 
and it could be, and I could have another scene, a totally, I could have, I could have underwater. I could have a seascape, a sea, you know, uh, a sea, a sea scene. That's hard to say. A sea scenery. Uh, okay, good. Thanks, Judy. We got 120. Yeah, we got over 125 thumbs up. Okay, 10 more minutes. And we'll do the giveaway <laughs> at 10 o'clock. Thanks, everybody. I just like to make it fun. And again, guys, you know I'd give the books away whether we got 125 thumbs up or not. But I do appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to go over and uh, thumbs up Faithful Mess, too. And Mary. And uh, and Zeely. Follow Zeely on uh, Instagram. I don't think Zeely streams. You don't stream, do you, Zeely? It doesn't. I don't think I've seen a video from you. But she's on Instagram. I don't know if Zeely's still here. So this is my vision for the pumpkin. And when you do a rounded pumpkin and you collage on it, you have to do a couple things. So let me prepare you. So, I mean, this paper is not thick. I mean, you know, it's not overly thick or anything, except for the main cover is a little thicker. You know, that's one is. But the, the pages aren't that thick. But what you have to do, if you do a rounded collage or decoupage or anything on something like that, you have to do two things. You have to cut it. You have to kind of slice it just like you would fabric, how you make darts in fabric. You kind of have to make darts in the paper for it to fold around. The other thing that you need to do is soak it in water for just a minute. The, the, pe the part you're going to work on. Because when you soak it in water, warm water for just, you don't have to soak it. I shouldn't say soak it. You just put it in water for a, like maybe 15 seconds, just enough to get the paper wet and soft. Then when you put the matte medium on it and it'll form, it'll mold, it'll mold to whatever you are um, collaging on. Okay. Okay. So Zeely said no streaming, but maybe someday. You need to, Zeely. Y'all follow her on Instagram, though. Let me see her exact name. Um, it's Zeely. Let me look. Underscore. Let me look. Let me go over here and look. <clears throat> Let me go over here, Zeely. It's Zeely Green. Oh. Oh, one word, Zeely Green. So if you follow her on Instagram. And I found something on, um, I found on Instagram, then I went over and found it on Facebook. I don't think Cameron's watching today, but I'm, I'm going to get him this for Christmas. Let me go to my Amazon. I put it in my Amazon cart. I found it on Instagram, but it's also on Amazon. I'm going to get him this for uh, Christmas. Y'all know Cameron's an artist. And a lot of times that Halloween, he dresses up in skeleton things. Look at this t-shirt. Look at this t-shirt. Look. It's all art supplies. Those are all paints and brushes. Look, the the main the backbone is a uh, is a uh what do you call it a uh oh the stand. <laughs> got too many things I'm trying to say. Um the oh, you know. Oh, somebody'll tell me in just a second. The stand. <laughs> Why that's hard for oh, hang on I lost it. Let's go back over to um, my cart. The easel. Thank you. The easel. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you go down ten rabbit trails. Let me get it back here. Hang on. Okay. So, but look how cool that is. All the brushes and paints are the ribs. There's a palette in there for the heart, and then easel stand for the spine. And it's a T-shirt. Isn't that the coolest thing? So I'm getting that for him. Yeah, I'm going to get him that for Christmas. Um, let's see. Um, and it's called Art Bones. Art. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> That's what the t-shirt is. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, let me flip through the rest of the calendar here. And it's all woods, right? And it's oversized. It's just so cool for collage. Yeah, I think he'll like it too, Kenny. So again, look, I mean, you could just put this on any of them. And these are double-sided, by the way. In the book, I've already cut them out. Look, there's, I mean, I don't know how it's a hundred, a uh, couple hundred things here. And I've already, uh, I cut them all out. They're all, most of them, I can't say 100% all of them, but most of them are double-sided. So if you uh, open them up, you know, you got some on the inside too. 
But isn't this cool, guys? Well, as soon as I saw this calendar, these doors immediately came to my mind. And again, you can put something else in here. It doesn't have to be just what's there. Like I said, I could put a seascape, outer space. I just think it's going to be so fun to do a do my pumpkin. My pumpkin is going to be this. So again, here we go. Just so you can kind of get an idea. Like here on the path. Look at that. Isn't that cool? You know? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to use these things. Where do I find the shirt? It was I found it first on Instagram, but I trust Amazon more than I trust the Instagram sellers. I know that sounds probably, you know. So um, I, I went over, to, and sometimes it's not always there either. The Instagram, you know, a lot of it comes from China. You don't know where it's all coming from. But uh, at least on Amazon, you got some kind of security that you're going to get your merchandise. So I went over to Amazon and found the exact shirt on Amazon. So they're selling it through Instagram and they're selling it through Amazon. And most of the things, if you find it on Instagram, you'll find that's true. Most, not everything, but most of it. <clears throat> so I just love these. Look at this one. Look at that tree. These are going to be amazing collages. Oh, I know what size he wears. <laughs> I'm not that remote from him. <laughs> oh, he's taller than me now. Yeah, he just turned. Can you all believe he's 20? I have a 20-year-old grandson. And then Boo is, uh, she'll be 17 in a couple months. And she's a junior in high school, but she also is uh, half- Half junior, uh, half junior in high school and half a day in college. So she's doing double schooling. So she goes and she works. So And they both work and go to college. And she'll be 17. And then my grandson in California is 12. So, yeah. So look how pretty. Look at this. So, again, you know. And this is just one door. I mean, look, there's tons of doors in those books. Like you could use this blue one might be better for the blue background. You know, I'm just, this is the only one I have cut open. That's why I pulled that one. But there's, look, just tons and tons of doors. And Colleen's the one that got us enabled on these uh, door books. And again, got those on Amazon too. And I just cut mine up. Colleen said she's had her books for two years and has not cut them up. I'd say, girl, you better cut those things up and use them. And then they had some smaller ones in the book as well, in the in the two books. <laughs> so, yeah, so there we go. So there's that. Let me just keep, I think that's, that's the last one. So I did pay full price for the uh, other than my uh, Barnes and Noble discount uh, for this calendar to use. This is the first thing I want to use it on is my pumpkin. And I'm going to try to do my pumpkin earlier this year. I usually wait quite closer to Halloween to do the pumpkin. And everybody goes, then you don't get to enjoy it. So you're right. I need to do, I need to get a pumpkin and do the collage like the first week of October so that we can enjoy it, sit it out here on my desk and, you know, enjoy it for a month because I use a real pumpkin. So once it goes, you know, it lasts a couple months, but then you got to throw it away. Oh, sure. The, show the door book covers. I kept the covers to show you guys. So they're Catherine Anderson doorways and opening and doorway and opening two, a collection of photographic images to cut out and use in personal art. So she specifically takes these pictures to use and she has other things too. She has other collage books. She has backgrounds and just images to use in collage. So, but that, that, these are the two books I have. There's other ones too, Arches. I don't know. There's, she's got, I don't know, six or seven different books. But these were the two that interested me the most, the doors. Okay, so then let's move that. Everything piling up. Let me move my, let's put a rubber band back around this. Y'all should see all my piles of projects. So I got this little book. 
and the rest of these books, I, the that calendar and all these books I'm getting ready to show, show you, I got at Barnes and Noble yesterday. After we left Denise's, we always go to Barnes and Noble. They have the best Barnes and Noble up in North Georgia. And so I always start stop there. Thanks, guys. Okay, four or five. Let me show this book, then we'll do the giveaway. Then we'll show the rest of these. Okay, so I got this little book specifically for... Move my thing back in case y'all miss this. Here's my Fibs YouTube yearbook. And I put it, I got a um, case, one of the Happy Planner cases to put it in because it's going to get chunky. It's already getting chunky. And then what I can do is I can put, uh, before I get to a page, let's say, and I have happy mail and stuff from people, I can kind of stick it in here and have it ready to use along with like I got this sticker um, accessory pack because it's got lots of girls in it. It's got little post-it notes too, but it's got lots of girls and lots of little, you know, little lipsticks. And although I'll, I'll put Ian in the book, I won't put a girl on your page, Ian. <laughs> but if I do an Ian page, you know, but I just like this because it had all these little girl stickers in here. And I used one of these stickers at the front of the book on my first page somewhere right here. I think it is. Yeah. See, I put one of the stickers of all the girls here. So, um, yeah. So, um, and, oh, let me take this out so I can show you the book again. I mean, the cover. This is like, it's got these, po I haven't put a lot in here yet, but it's got these uh, Velcro pockets. It's the Happy Planner case, but I'm not using it a planner. I'm using it for my um, Fibs book. And it's got all these other pockets and stuff so I can keep everything contained. And then this is what the it looks like. It's so cute. Isn't it so cute? The Happy Planner case for your standard size. It's a classic size uh, case. Okay, so again, I can put my... There's nothing Happy Planner in the book other than the rings and the covers. It's not a Happy Planner. It's all my fib stuff. It's all my Friends in the Box year... YouTube yearbook stuff. So anyway, what I was going to say is this little book has all these little sayings and quotes, and that's where I got this one. And I took it out. I cut it into a shape, and this is the one I put on um, Faithful's page. Always believe something wonderful is about to happen. So I have that in just paper clipped on her page. I put one of the little girl stickers there, and washi tape in the background. It's a good day to have a good day. So I'll put some other things here, you know, from, from faithful, our faithful mess. So there's my fib book. <clears throat> and again, that's why I got this. I got this specifically and I already tore that one out and put it in. I, I got this specifically to tear things out and put it in the fibs book because they're all just really, you know, reach for the stars you know, make good art, happy, you know, just good, good, positive little quotes. So I can put those in that book. All right. So there's that. Then this other couple things. Oh, wait, no, before we do anything else, let's do our giveaway. Okay. So here's the rules. Listen up, people. Don't put in any numbers yet. Okay. So here's the rules. Listen to the rules. Let me get a pen. All right. So when I type in go, when I type in go, put in a number between 1 and 100, okay? Not yet. Let me get up random.org on my phone. One number only. One number only. You start putting in 10 numbers, you are automatically disqualified. Disclaimer! <laughs> One number only. The person closest without going over will get a choice of one of these books, okay? So, all right, so I got my random.org. I got the little box here, 1 to 100. I have not generated a number yet. We'll do that after everybody puts in a number, okay? Does everybody hear the rules? When I type in go, you can put in a number between 1 and 100. Let me get on my line here. <clears throat> All right, ready? And, and what did Julie say? One number only. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and closest without going over. 
Now you can go. I, put, I typed in go. Put in a number between 1 and 100. Okay, and I'll give you all a couple minutes. And then I'll count down. I'll count down. And again, thank you so much, Faithful Mass, for sending the stamps. So she's also, she's does, she sent the books for the giveaway and she also sent stamps for me to mail them out. So thank you so much, Faithful. <clears throat> okay, so everybody put in a number between one and 100. Closest without going over. We got the Island Escape. We got the Cats. We have Daria's song, The Night Voyage. And we have Daria's song, The Time Garden. So you have a choice of one of these. And we will eventually give all these away. We'll do one or two a week, depending on how it goes, okay? But uh, Faithful is uh, paid for all these to go out. So she sent these specifically for giveaways. So thank you, Faithful. <clears throat> all right, everybody, get, I'm going to count down now. Get your numbers in. Ready? I'm going to count down. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Get your numbers in. One. All right, stop. No numbers count after that. Okay? <laughs> Here we go. All right, so we're going to generate a number between 1 and 100. 56. The person closest to 56 without going over. 56 is the, the number. So I let my mods, at least th two to three mods, tell me. Y'all can look too, but I depend on my mods to tell me who won. Okay? So whoever's the closest without going over. So let's give them a minute. Okay, Janice Johnson got 56 on the nose. She was the first person or the only person anyway. It's always the first person. Okay, J.L. Johnson. All right, Janice, tell me which book you want and then email me your address. Do not forget to email me your address because I still I have another book over here. I've got to re-give away because I never got their address. Okay, so Janice, which book do you want? You want Cats? Do you want Island Escape, the watercolor? I mean, you can do color pencil in it too, but it's watercolor paper. Okay. I'm looking. I'm waiting to see. Do you want uh, Daria Song's The Night Voyage or, or The Time Garden? Which one of these would you like? Cats. Okay. She wants cats. Okay. All right, Janice. So send me your email. Here's my email address. Okay, and we'll probably do another giveaway on Wednesday. So, you know, I stream every Monday and Wednesday about 8.30. I, you know, officially don't, don't start till 9. But uh, congratulations, Janice. So send me your email. Did you grab it there? And I know a lot of y'all, I have your addresses, but just whenever you win something, I'd like you to send it to me again, just so I make sure you haven't moved, you haven't changed anything. You know, so I just like you to email me your address again just to make sure that I get it correct. Okay, so congratulations, Janice. That's going in the going out pile. So we'll do another giveaway on Wednesday and we'll do it the same way. People can pick what they want. Okay, you can pick what book you want in the giveaway. Is that fun? Does that sound good? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put those right here. So we'll do that giveaway. So, all right. So let's get back to more books. Oh, thanks, Mary. We try. We try. All right. So now I've got a couple things here. Let me straighten out my camera. i got a couple things here that I thought I'd show first because Janet might want these. <laughs> she might want. Janet's always going, well, what do I need to buy? What do I need to buy? Well, I think what Jan, Janet doesn't color. She doesn't really collage. She might glue some things down in her beast. But uh, she does more drawing, painting, inking, or whatever Eileen tell her to do. <laughs> but anyway, I got these two things at Barnes & Noble. This one is a Barnes & Noble exclusive. And it was it was at the counter. It was like at the, you know, standouts at the counter when you check out. So it, this was an impulse purchase. 
but I loved it. Yeah, clutch your pearls. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is, it has like a faux leather texture to it. And it's got, and I thought it was just going to be plain white sketch paper, but every other page feels like watercolor. It's like the backside is smooth and then it's watercolor feeling texture. It's not exactly what I can, I'm not going to be able to get that to show up, but it feels textury. And apparently you can only get this at Barnes and Noble. That's what it said on the thing. It's a sewn binding. It's a sewn stitched binding. And let me tell you the size. It's um, six by eight, eight by six. And I'll tell you the ISBN number, but I think you just, I, if it's a Barnes and Noble exclusive, I guess you have to get it there. It's made in India exclusively for Barnes and Noble. The ISBN is nine. Well, it's got two. Hmm. It's got ISBN dash 13 colon nine. Okay. It's the same. Okay. Nine, seven, eight. Zero five nine four eight two eight seven four dash seven. So again, I don't know if it's available anywhere else, but I did purchase this because I love this. I love the size of it. I love little square books, even though it's not exactly square, but it's just that type. It's a thick kind of square book, and so um, I really like this. Um, let me see. No, it's not. It's, it's almost like, um, yeah, it could be hot press. It's not exactly cold press. It's not that texture-y, Ian. So maybe you'd call it cold press. But I, And again, I don't even know if it's official watercolor paper. I don't know if it has any sizing on it. All it had was a little sticker on it said Barnes & Noble exclusive. It didn't say anything about the paper. But anyway, I like this one has it on both pages so that the back side of this one is smooth and the back side. So some of the pages are both like so you could do a landscape watercolor, you know, they're both um, textured. And then, of course, the back side would be smooth, like Bristol smooth. OK, so it's like, you know, every few pages they'll have a double page. Like this is a double page. But I, I really liked it also because it's white paper. I like personally like working on white paper better than cream paper. So anyway, yeah, so I got that. And then this was so cute. How to draw and write in fountain pen. A modern guide by uh, Ayano Usamura. And... Um, Again, here's the ISBN. You can, you know, I got all these at Barnes and Noble, but I'm sure you can get some on Amazon. 978-1615196029. And it, it's really kind of a simple book. I mean, it's not anything very um, what do you call it? Uh in it's not an in-depth drawing book. Hi, Eileen. And but Janet really likes fountain pens too, and so do I. Uh, and anyway, they use the uh, the what do you call it? Uh, the uh, Lamy Safari, and I know Janet has that too. That's why I'm saying she'll probably like this book. So it comes with. I haven't taken this out. I haven't waited for you guys. It has a little. Let's see. Can you, okay, I can open it from here. It has a little thing of. Uh, it says tracing booklet. Okay, so it has a little tracing booklet. So that if you want to trace any of the designs here that are in the book, they're all in here. Okay. So they have that. And then at the back, there's little postcards. Some are postcard like, um, here, I'll show you. There's two sizes. They're perforated. Did I pull out two? I didn't mean to pull out two. So they have a, this one is perforated. So they're like a four, is it four by six, five and a half by, it's a four by five and a half size. And so you can do little cards like little papers this way. And then they have some that are not perforated, I think. Yeah, some are the full sheet. And so what you can do is do the little fountain pen drawings. 
You can use them like to send out for happy mail. And they give you a little pocket back here so that you can put your little booklet or if you take out the papers or anything else. You know, we, we love packaging. We're suckers for packaging. <laughs> Hi, Kathy Arbor. And Kathy Arbor, by the way, every Thursday, is it at 1 Eastern, Kathy? Kathy Arbor at 1 Eastern, unless somebody changes that time for me, does is doing a little drawing. I don't say little because it's pretty in-depth. A drawing class on her YouTube channel. And, uh, yeah, I think it's one on Thursdays. So check out Kathy Arbor. Yes, 1 Eastern. Okay. And y'all can follow her. There she is right there. She just posted. Um, so anyway, it comes with some of the little papers in the back. Let's see. One, two, three, probably about 10 sheets in the back. Okay. And then, again, this is where the little designs were in there. They're all over here, too. And... Um, it's just such a cute little book. And it reminded me of Janet because she has what she calls her beast. She has a journal. It's a it's a gridded uh, journal. And, and they're about, I think, 10 bucks at uh, Barnes & Noble as well. And it's her planner type thing. And she puts her own washi. She puts her own decorations. She divides everything up. She puts her own dates, her own months. So she does it all herself. But she draws little things like this in her book. And, um, yeah, so here's the contents, uh, before drawing a simple sketch, simple sketch, familiar objects, writing stylish letters, stylish embellishments, advanced techniques and projects. So those are the four parts. Um, and then she says about the fountain pen used in this book, the correct way to refill and maintain a fountain pen varies from model to model. And brand to brand. In this book, I use the Laumi Safari fountain pen. Please consult the manufacturer instruction on your particular pen. pen. Excuse me. Let me get a sip of juice here. Um, so anyway, she has just little projects, small projects you can use, label cards, birthday cards, planners and scrapbooks. She has all kinds of little uh, projects. Author's note and my life. <clears throat> Y'all want me to read some of this stuff to you guys? I mean, it fascinates me <clears throat> as long as my voice can uh, get crack a lacking. Let me go over here to where she says my life. I think there's two sections here. The style of drawing with a fountain pen is what I call simple sketching. Just carefully observe the world around you and let the lines that are born from your hand do the work. <clears throat> When using a fountain pen, there's an element of enjoying the task of observing. And that goes along with Kathy Arbor's class, too. She's very big on talking about observing what you see. Okay. <clears throat> so I've chosen to use the term sketch rather than draw. It might seem strange, but I've never lost my enthusiasm for sketching with a fountain pen. Because the pen engages all five senses. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, let me get a sip here. <clears throat> because the pen engages all five <clears throat> <clears throat> it always feels fresh every day your lines change just a little bit according to your mood and physical condition letting these little changes play out is, is very in tune with the real me I think on good days and on not so good days, I'm always producing lines. There are a variety of lines in the world. Happy day lines, sad day lines. Whatever line appears on a particular day is a precious line. Even if I make a mistake or an error, I know that there was no such thing as a bad line. If your hand produces a line, any line, it's a good line. Fountain pens are habit for me, and they're delicate lines, and even though they take a little time to get used to, I think they are an inspiring drawing tool that directly appeals to my mind and body. I want to share the pleasures of these pens with as many po people as possible, and that is why I wrote this book. What really made me realize who I am and who I am in everyday life was simple sketching with a fountain pen. I will be super happy if everyone who acquires this book learns how fun it is to draw and write in fountain pen. So there's her little about me. 
Now I'm not going to obviously read and show you the whole book, but you know, I want kind of get you a little, you know, start. So she shows you the fat, the fountain pen and the parts of the pen, different types of nibs. <clears throat> she talks about uh, different types of paper, shows you different papers, shows you the different types of inks, about ink filling methods, about maintenance of the pen, how to hold a fountain pen, uh, fountain pen don'ts, and then she gets into the sketching of the simple objects. And when she says simple objects, I mean, look, she means simple objects. Let me see if I got any comments. Don't forget, guys, talking to me. Bye, Devin. Thank you for stopping in. Put it in caps, guys, if you're talking to me. Uh, kitchenware and uh, just, you know, little things. Clothes and accessories, nail polish and a lipstick, shoes, sunglasses, your clothes plants, writing stylish letters. So she's got all different kind of alphabet fonts, embellishments, how to do little borders. And if you've ever, if any of y'all have ever done any kind of sketch noting, mind mapping, you know, all these kind of things like this, all um, crossover, right? Layouts, advanced techniques and projects with different uh, color and markers and different things. So anyway, how to draw and write in fountain pen, a modern guide, a Yano Usamura. So yeah, and it's just a little book. You can see it's small as my hand here. So I got that. Next thing I got, and again, it's not like I don't know how to paint and draw. And people go, oh, why did you buy that? It's such a beginner thing. Well, you know, I love sharing books. A lot of sharing books, I usually end up, you know, I'll re go through them, grab out some notes, put some things in my society idea collector notebook, and then I usually, you know, give things away. So and at least, if nothing else, you can find different kinds. I mean, I go, this, this is very advanced here, and this is going to be more simple, right? And this is from the people that do the Calm, Calm magazine. So I, I, y'all know, I like a little everything. Uh, so this one is 164 pages, learn to paint and draw by the people that make the Calm magazine, free 64 page sketchbook and, and paintable postcards, create art for your home, projects and techniques to inspire you. And that's what I like to do. Inspire, encourage and inspire. Okay. So y'all know that. Okay, so you open up the book and there's this little sketchbook here and it's like got the little glue dots on there, I'm sure. I haven't taken it out yet here. Let's take the little glue dots or as we used to call them snot dots because they look like little, you know, little. <laughs> so I'll take those off. <laughs> little glue dots. Pull, and they peel right off. That's why they use them in these magazines. Hi, Jersey. Anybody else I missed? Let's see, Sherry Ann, I found you, Dee Dee, iffy. <laughs> uh, who else am I missing? Cheryl, Little Crafting, Cheryl. I know I probably missed some people coming in. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Thanks for the thumbs up. Hope you're getting some inspiration. I want to uh, do an online, uh, an, um, draw Poe for you, or maybe we'll go back to the Poe bo uh, box. We'll see. Maybe we'll do one of those things today, depending on how far we get these, through these books. You know, I planned on just showing books and happy mail books all day today, but we'll see. Maybe we'll do something. We'll see. Uh, hi, Art Therapy with Me Mama Megs. Ke I said hi to Kenny, Keisha, DeMonte. Hi, DeMonte. It's been a while since I've seen you. Hi, May, Ashley, Amanda, uh, Tin Tindaloo, Tindaloo. Okay, Tindaloo, thank you for stopping in. She Tindaloo said my mom. So I'm thinking Tindaloo must be a young person in UK. <laughs> Maybe in Australia. I think in Australia they say mom instead of mom. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it comes with this little book. Let's see if I can uh, take. Oh, and let me give you all a tip on these. Um, when they have these little circles, when they, oh, there. 
when they have these little circles to keep things shut, whether it's on a color book, a book, a magazine, whatever, the easiest thing to do is to take your scissors, take your scissors and then cut through it, cut through it and then fold and paper packs too, scrapbook paper packs, then just fold in, fold in where you've cut. Don't try to tear these off because you're going to tear your little book. If you just cut it with a scissor or an exacto knife and then just fold them in so you don't really peel them off, just fold them in. Then you won't have torn off, you know, paper stuff. Okay, so it comes with a sketchbook. Why learn to paint and draw? Let's read this, shall we? Uh, you're going to draw Poe on Star Wars Friday. Now, why are you going to draw Poe on Star Wars Friday, Ian? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jean has been doing knitting. Uh, we're, we're kind of upset with her. She pops in here every now and then, but we're upset with her because she's dissed us for her knitting. <laughs> Not really mad at her. We're just decent. Okay, why learn to paint and draw? If you asked yourself that question, then you are at least a little bit curious. And if you're reading this, then you're about to take a fantastic step in the right direction. Learn to Paint and Draw is a carefully curated collection of wonderful creative projects for you to try at home using easy-to-find art supplies. Professional illustrators will take you through simple step-by-step -step guides so you can create your own original artwork. And there's more help, too. The sketchbook opposite is your first step in your creative journey. Take it everywhere with you and you can sketch your ideas wherever and where, whatever and whenever you are. Our contributors who are all working artists and illustrators never go anywhere without their sketchbooks. And there's plenty more to offer. Take your time reading, enjoying and exploring this amazing magazine. Then start planning which project you're going to do first. So that's the intro page. Poe. Oh, okay. The Poe from the, okay. That, the, cause the name Poe. Okay. Gotcha. So are you going to draw Edgar Allan Poe or are you going to draw Poe the X-Wing pilot, Ian? Ian's trying to throw a monkey wrench in my thinking here. I'm already down 10 rabbit trails. Now you're throwing in Poe from Star Wars. <laughs> uh, Ian. Oh my gosh. I swear. I don't know. <laughs> Aw, thanks. Thanks for the clarification. I have Poe. I have this Poe on my mind. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's just take a little gander through here. So they have the artists, the guides, the projects, and the exercises. And, you know, look. Just look at this right here. Just look at this border is inspiring. There's so much eye candy and inspiration in these kind of books. Even if you're not going to do the projects, you'll think up your own projects based on a lot of the projects that they have. Okay. Uh, here's all the different artists. Nothing beats a high of creating something you're proud of. So, again, I'm going to kind of flip watercolors so there's a watercolor and ian does these kind of uh he does scenery he does landscapes and a lot of scenery boats and okay let's take a moment since he disrupted my my rabbit trail i'm going to call him out <laughs> let me go on facebook that's the easiest for me to find him let's see ian jackson Let's see what was the last thing he did. Oh, wait. What am I? Am I on? Why am I? Is this Facebook? Why am I? Why is it taking me to YouTube? Oh, my gosh. Nurse Blake. Looks like he's got a new uh, video out. <laughs> I love Nurse Blake. Y'all go watch Nurse Blake if you're on uh, Facebook. Okay. Let's go to Ian here. And, um, oh. It's coming up with your videos first. Why is it coming up with your videos, Ian? Filters, date posted. I don't want your videos. Why is it? It's taking me right to your YouTube, Ian, from Facebook. Why can't I get right to your Facebook page? It's not taking me to your Facebook page. It's taking me straight to YouTube. 
I don't know. Well, anyway, go look up Ian Jackson on Facebook. I can't find him other than his videos right now. But uh, yeah. Bye, Mary. Okay. Thank you so much for stopping in, Mary. All right. So anyway, watercolors. <laughs> Let's see what other projects are in here. Lots of that. Um, maps, like making maps, sketching. Here's some more little tools. I mean, it's just look at this. Look at all. Here's some, painting some cactus, and it gives you a little experiment page there. A field guide to brushes. And then, of course, they're going to advertise their magazines, The Calm, Wellness. Uh, I forget all the, the ones that they have in their line of magazines. Uh, look, patterns. Edgar would be fun in an X-Wing. Yes, that would be, Ian. Do you gonna, can we look forward to that? Can we look forward to you uh, putting uh, Edgar Allan Poe in an X-Wing? <laughs> Or do Poe, the X-Wing pilot, with a raven on his shoulder? There you go. <laughs> Could go the other way. Okay, indigo for inspiration, indigo blue. So well, look at all the stuff like this. Look, guys. Isn't this cool? Lots of inspiration. So, again, you, you know, you might think this is all very simplistic, but there are ideas galore. Here we go. In the moment, that's another one of their magazines. Picture yourself doing a picture, doing a little self-portrait in a in kind of a cartoon style or an illustrative style. Painting uh, coffee cans or vegetable cans. You can make lots of uh, little um, like pots out of those. Um, this girl does a lot of patterns. But look at all the borders and everything just around it. Then there's a color book uh, postcard thing in here. Something like this coloring coloring challenge um, using old old magazines like old-fashioned magazines and old like Sears robot kind of you know the old ones and doing projects on those um, just you know tons of inspiration tons of inspiration Here's some uh, butterflies cut, uh, drawing and coloring and cutting out your own butterflies. Everybody can do that. Don't tell me you cannot make this. Everybody can paint and color and cut out butterflies. So anyway, just tons of inspiration. I've not read any of this yet. Um, Artist Guide to Pins. Because I just got everything. I got all these yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to do you know really read anything i flip just briefly flip here's shading and pencil some practice uh things for that drawing and ink so anyway it's just got tons of little projects spray paint so lots of little projects okay so that one is called it's by the calm Calm Magazine, learn to paint and draw, create for your home. Okay, eye candy. What do y'all think of that one? Okay, I'm ignoring Ian now. Okay. <laughs> okay, then I got the Art Journaling Magazine, and y'all know I always, I, I have so many of these anymore. I've collected Somerset Studio for 20 years, Art Journaling since they came out. So what I usually do with the art journaling is I read, I take notes, I put things in my Society of Idea Collector notebook, and I usually give these away. So, you know, within a month or so, you know, it's not, it won't be like brand new when you get it, but it'll be, you know, they're like, they're bi-monthly or they quarterly now. Can't remember. But uh, yeah, so October, November, December. So they're quarterly. Uh, the art journaling one, but there's Somerset Studio and different ones. So I love looking at them, reading the tips, reading the articles. But so, and I don't buy every single one anymore because a lot of it is so much. I've, like I said, I've subscribed, well, not subscribed, I've purchased Somerset Studio for, I think, since 1996 when they came out. And art journaling, I'm not even sure how many years it's been out. So I usually give these away, but I like to at least encourage you to go purchase them or look at them at your favorite bookstore. 
So, um, okay. So this is our journaling and, um, uh, our packer die has been in three or four of them. What is it over there, baby? She's rolling over in her, in her box that, uh, she thinks now is her bed. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to let her have that box for a bed. I got two of them. I guess they could, we could use those for, no, they won't sleep in them for, you know, if we're sitting anywhere near them. But um, yeah, they might like those uh, boxes from Faithful Mess for beds for a while. Um, so anyway, well, I forgot. All right, I forgot. What I was gonna oh, Packer Die has been in three or four art journaling ones. I think Paula's been in one or two. And I was really hoping Paula was going to stream. I saw a tweet that she was going to stream over the weekend, and she didn't. Ugh, that girl. It'd be so nice to see her streaming again. Okay. So, again, it's, these are this is put out by Stampington and Company, and they have, let's go to the back here, a gazillion different magazines. I mean, they probably have, I don't know, 20 maybe, uh, 20 different magazines, maybe more. Holiday jewelry, candle, mingle, which is like parties. They have, um, there's of course Somerset Studio, art quilting in her studio. There's just so many different ones. Bella Grace, this was old, this is the old True Colors uh, book. That's been out since what year? I think it was in the 90s, 1996 or something. Um, then they had these coloring books, which I, apparently they are, uh, they're still printing those. I have all their uh, color books, but I bought them as they came out, but apparently they're still publishing those color books. So there's just tons of uh, magazines by Stampington. Um, are they called? No, they're, they're, they would be cat beds, Ian. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to just kind of do a flip. So one of the things about the art journaling is they always have, like, in their special features, they have little um, uh, little segments where they ask the they ask the artist l these little questions. Like, for instance, uh, and they always give tips here too, tips. But they give little uh, they give little. I'll get to one here in a minute. I'll show you. They'll ask all the artists, like here's one. We ask the artists, what's the most important advice you could give to someone brand new to art journaling? <clears throat> and they, every, all the artists give their, their little quick tips. See, all these are the different artists in the book. So they give you quick tips on um, what you would give uh, advice for a beginning art journaler. Um. And they just have those kind of questions throughout. And little tips here. Add more interest to your journal by making tip-ins, tags, and trifold cards. And clip them into your journal or make pocket pages. That expands your journals. Like, you know, what I'm doing with the Jane Davin. That's what we need to do. I need to deconstruct uh, Katie's book and put it in my art journal. We'll do that if we have time here when I get done. We'll deconstruct the Jane book and add it to my Jane journal. So you can see here just all kinds of different techniques and uh, different, you know, here's a little drawing, little skellies. Um, and then the, here's another question. We asked the artist, what random everyday items do you use as art supplies? Old credit cards. Of course, you know, a lot of these, you know, guys, if we've been around art journaling for, you know, however many years, some of this is going to, you know, be a lot of the same kind of answers, like junk mail, you know, but then you see how they use it. So, you know, even though we know the, the uh, pro process and the, and the products, they still do everything their way. And so when you see different uh, ways that they do their pages, it's, it's just inspiring. You know, if you have a few of these magazines or a few of these kind of books that I'm showing, you really can't ever say, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't I have any inspiration. Pull out one of those books. Um, I'll have to show you one of the things that I did this weekend. I came across a new YouTube channel. I'll, I'll, let me not get off on another rabbit trail. Let me pull my sketchbook over here, though, just to show you. 
right? If we have a minute, I'll show you another, you know, another society of idea collecting kind of deal. Okay, so here's another question. We asked the artist, do the seasons or time of year affect how you journal or what you journal about? And then each one of the artists that are in the book answer that question. Recycling your art. I think they're re they mean recycling your own art. So different inspiration tips. So anyway, any of these books, you know, and like I said, I usually go through them write down any ideas I have, and then I end up giving it away so that I can share with other people. Because I've got so many that are like this, but I like to share with you guys. Faithful men's misadvice I've taken from Didi. Stop saying you're not an artist. There you go. You're the boss of your journals. You're the boss of your art. Thank you, Faithful. Um, okay, so there's that. Then two other books that I got. <clears throat> This one I just got because I haven't even, I bought this not even reading anything about it except just the flip through. This was on one of their standout tables. And that's usually where I find all the good flow books too. This one's not a flow book, but um, it's where I usually find them. Like I'm heading out the, you know, up to the checkout and I see one of these standout tables and I've got, oh my, I caught this one. <laughs> so this one is Women in Art, 50 Fearless. 50 Fearless Creatives Who Inspired the World, written and illustrated by Rachel Ignotofsky, I-G-N-O-T-O-F-K, uh, no K, wait, I-G-N-O-T-O-F-S-K-Y, Ostofsky, okay, I'm not going to try to pronounce it, <laughs> but let me give you the ISBN, it is 978-0399. Five eight zero four three seven. That's the ISBN. Um, so anyway, oh, thank you, Pacola. Put a link to this book in in the, the chat. And wait till you see this, guys. Oh my gosh, I want to read about each one of the fifty women here, but the book is oh, wait, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> It's so illustrative and so, and anyway, so it starts back into where they've found cave art, you know, cave art, like, you know, drawing in caves, you know, prehistoric cave art things. And what they found that they, the handprints, the handprints look like is how they signed these cave drawings. I haven't read this yet. I just, you know, you know, anyway, um, because the size of the hands, they assume that they are women. Some of them, some of them that are, some of them are women. So anyway, but it starts out from that. Then it goes to 1262, 1300s, 1500s, and it goes through all the way, you know, 1800s, 1900s, 1954, 1978, 19, you know, all the way up to the present. Frida's in here. Who else did I see that I recognize? But anyway, the, the art in it is so amazing. So here they did a little timeline. Are we still with the tour? Sorry, kind of got, uh, yeah, the old petroglyphs. Yeah, Julie. And uh, so anyway, um, yeah, this apparently, let's see. And I, I know I'm not going to pronounce these names right. G U A N Guan Dao Xing Guan Dao Xing. And uh, so here, look at the art of it though. And then they have a write up about each one. But look at all the borders. I love how this, I love this kind of thing, the style where there's little information and the borders. This is, I think that's why I like mind mapping. I like the way mind mapping and sketch noting looks. I like doing it, but I really like the way mind mapping and and sketch notes look and that's the feel that you get from this book you know you, with all the little information around the borders oh i just love it see and every page is like that every page has a beautiful border information around it one main uh, image one main Im 
know, isn't it? T Tony's going, ooh. <laughs> I think she's like, ooh, and at this. So, again, I'm not going to show you every page, but just so you can kind of get the idea. It's every page. There's 50 artists in here. And they're all, it, every page is like this, right? Every page is like this. Harriet Powers, uh, Quilter, I'm, a, I'm guessing. One of those quilters in um, Savannah, South Carolina. I, forget, I don't know if she was one. But um, they, there was a name for their, their style. I don't know if she was one. It's not mentioned. I think it starts with a G. Does anybody know? It's not coming fresh to mind. I think those quilt, they're called, it was by, the name of it was G something. But the, she, it's not mentioning that here. So this must be a different um, quilt uh, area. This one was in Georgia. But there was some in uh, South Carolina. I can't, I had to think of it. But anyway, um, here's a sculptor, Mary Edmonia Lewis, sculptor. And so it has a write-up, a little information, and an illustration. The geese. Geese, yeah. Joe Bat. Gula and geese. Geese bend and gula. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. They have all kinds of uh, quilt communities. And it's been years since. I think we had it at our high museum one year. Uh, they had a lot of, we had a folk art exhibit some years ago, and some of that was addressed there. And plus, I've seen PBS. PBS had a um, uh, a special on them one time, on their, in their uh, art and their quilt. Yeah, thank you. I couldn't remember. But anyway, I need to look that up again, because it was very interesting. And the other thing that uh, PBS has had on, I haven't watched them all. I've got them all uh, DVR'd. Oh, now they're both in the papers. Now, the other one's in the other box. You hear them over there? They're, they're in the tissue paper in those boxes. They're having a big time over here, Faithful. Um, but anyway, um, the, the history of country and Western music, Ken Burns. Ken Burns doesn't do anything halfway. Have you seen any Ken Burns uh, documentaries? So he did, I think it's an eight-part uh, country music, country and Western music, the history of it all the different styles that culminated in, in country Western music is fascinating. I've watched a couple of them. I have them all recorded, but I'm Hubster wants to watch them too. And I don't want to watch them twice in a row. So I'm waiting for when Hubster can watch one with me. So we're watching that whole series and it's awesome. Um, so Anyway, if y'all have get a chance, watch the Ken Burns documentary on the country and western. You know, back to you know June Carter Cash and you know all the way before that too. You know, the different music that had the slaves had they incorporated, and the I did not know this, and I, I hope I have this right. The banjo was made after the drums from Africa. I did not know that about the banjo. Okay, what are you doing, baby? Uh, no, don't tear it off. Don't tear it off. I don't care if you lay on it. Don't tear it all up. We all have a mess. Um, I thought it was just so fascinating. Anyway, I love anything about art, history, any of it. So, um, Yeah, you watched this, the country music series by Ken Burns, Rebecca? Yeah, I have them all recorded. I haven't watched them all yet because, like I said, Hubster and I want to watch them together. And, you know, he has less free time than I do. And at night we read. So, um, yeah, we, we read every night. Um, anyway, mm -mm. so these are, it's just fascinating here. Here's Beatrix Potter. Y'all know Beatrix Potter. Um, look at this right here. Elements and principles of art and design. The different shapes, texture, space, pattern, contrast, emphasis, balance, rhythm, harmony, proportion, scale, and then the color wheel. Isn't this interesting? Am I the only one fascinated by anything like this? <laughs> so again, let me just kind of flip. But I can't wait to read them all. I want to read about every one of these. So this will be going next to my nightstand. 
along with about 50 other books. I have stacks of books in my bedroom because we read at night. Hubster has his stack. I have my stack. And we, what is it, baby? Love that tissue paper. I know. Oh, hi, Desert Nana. Good to see you. Okay, Suze. Hi and bye, Suze. I didn't even see you here. Hi and bye. And I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing better. I hope you're healing up. Okay, I've got it. Come on, baby. You're going to have to go out now. Look, you want, you want this? I don't want you to tear up this tissue paper. I'll take this box out for you. Can I drag you out in this box? All right, hang on, guys. I'm going to drag them out in this box. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So cute. There you go. All right. Now you can play in that box. <laughs> uh Sorry, guys, it's distracting. I've got enough rabbit trails in my head to listen to the tissue paper. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know if uh, Hope Suze is doing better. Hi, Kathy Berg. Hi, Donna. Happy Monday. Okay, so then here we have statistics and art uh, about auctions. Oh, it's just all fascinating stuff. All right, let's see if we got any more of those little special pages in here. <clears throat> Isn't this interesting, though, guys? I mean, there's 50 women artists. And it just looks so... I'll have to get my notebook out, take notes on it as well. Art tools. Um... I hear him out in the hall now in that box with the paper. <laughs> I'm going to have to make me a list with notes on each one. That's just the way I roll. That's how I learn. <gasps> Look. There's different ones. Women in science. Women in sports. I love science. Planet Earth. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Amazon, take me away. <laughs> Some people say Cal, Cal, what is it, Calgon? You know, the bath soap stuff. Calgon, take me away. For me, for most of us here, it's Amazon, take me away. <laughs> right? So anyway, I'll be taking notes on this. Okay, then the other one I got, and I can't show everything in this one. I did flip through this one, so I know there's some nudity. Not that it bothers me, nudity in art or sketching live models. You know, I've did I've done that hundreds of times, uh, drawing drawing nudes, but I don't want to show it on my channel. I want this to stay family friendly. And again, not that there's anything wrong with that. Don't email me. But you know, we're just that's just the way we roll here. Because uh, we, you know, I want kids. I want, you know, I want uh, anybody that wants to learn anything about art or crafts or art inspiration to be able to come here with their parents and uh, at any age. Although I don't think on YouTube you're supposed to be here under 13, but, you know, we don't have any control over that. Uh, so anyway, oh, you're, you're all welcome. Okay. So anyway, um, I'm going to kind of, I'm going to peek you know, kind of take a look at it. But what this is, is um, Imagine Effects, FX. And these these magazines are not cheap. I'm just going to say you're paying, you're paying book price for these magazines. And they come out. I'm not sure how often they come out. Uh, I, I collect them up and then Cameron loves them because they're so cool art. And he ends up getting them. <laughs> so I don't even know how many I've ever had. But I keep them a while. I... Um, Again, guys, let me kind of peek. And there's just different artists, and they show their sketchbooks. And in, in this particular one, they do show how to draw a nude, how to sketch shade um, from a live model. So at the beginning of the, of the book, there's a whole bunch of uh, instructional uh, pages on how to draw uh, nudes. And uh, so I'm not going to show that, obviously. So I'm just going to kind of kind of peek. Now, I do want to say that in this one, if y'all know um, Jake Parker, who is the originator of Inktober, he is in here. I'm, I'm, I'm being careful, guys. Okay. I'm, I'm just, just for family friendly sake. You know, again, I, I don't have anything against 
you know, nudity and art, but I'm just trying to keep the channel. Uh, <clears throat> different weapons. My watch is telling me to stand. I ought to show y'all a cartoon I came across. So again, different, um, just different artists showing their styles and stuff. And I love it. I this is I could I'll sit and read and look over every line of every artist. Even if, I mean I'm, I'll probably never draw a tank, but I will sit here and study, study the lines and the shading and the proportions. I just you know that's how you learn, guys. You know, pick up a pencil and try to draw some, a section of it. I pick up a pencil and try to draw one of these fish. You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> you'll see what I'm talking about. It. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just kind of flicking through different uh, sections of it. I'll, I'll show you a little bit of the Jake Parker when we get to that too. Right, let's... But look at all the headdresses, all the different kinds of Oh, it's just, I love every bit of it. Okay, then here's some little creatures. Um, <clears throat> See, look, I try to tell a powerful story through my art and inspire young creators. Okay, so here's Jake Parker. I won't show you all of it, but uh, there's, he's got six pages in here. But um, he's the ink, uh, Jake Parker is the originator of Inktober. So, and if you look up Mr. Jake Parker, you can follow him on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. But uh, yeah, so he has six pages in here of all kinds of his art. Um, But isn't this awesome, guys? So, you know, we've gone from some of the more simple art to more complex. And then here's all the different uh, artists and their sketchbooks that are covered in here. And then the rest of the first 50 pages, the first 50 pages here are instructional tutorials. So uh, you've got 50 pages of that. And then you got... Uh, it goes up to how many pages in here? 155, 160, about 160 pages. So you got 50 pages of, of uh, tutorials. Then you got another 100 pages of all these different artists. So it's just awesome. I love these books. I know I love this. Man. Yeah, I, I say book because you're paying book price. So this is about $30, guys. They're not, you know, they're not cheap. But to me, they're worth it. It just depends on what you're, you know, you think is worth it. So there's all the different books that I bought at Barnes and Noble. So then let me take this over here, show you a couple things that I found on a YouTuber. Now I came across this YouTuber. I came across this YouTuber. Let me back out some because now I've got my big sketchbook here. <clears throat> so let's back out. That's good. And, um, She's a fashion, I think she's, I don't know if she was Romanian, I, I, I forget now, because uh, I didn't really watch her bio, I just watched, she has, she has a whole bunch of, and I got, the, I got it written down in here, so I'll tell you, it's uh, fashion sketch, uh, anyway, I'll tell you in a minute, fashion school, but anyway, she hasn't posted any videos in a couple of years, and all her videos are like less, I, there might be a couple that are over five minutes, but they're very packed full of information in five minute videos. So y'all need to go follow her because it's got, she's got a lot of ideas. So if you want to put anything down in your society of idea notebook, uh, it's really fascinating. So I watched about, oh, 20, 20 of her videos that are five minutes each. Um, and with my, with my sketchbook, and wrote down all the information. Yes, I am uh, uh, Andreala, uh, Andrea, Andrea. I am, I am doing movie monsters my way. I did here, I have one sitting over here. 
I did a um, practice one. Here's one of my practice movie monsters. I did Frankenstein, my way. Again, I'm not trying to copy the monsters exactly. I'm doing them my way. <laughs> Bye, Ashley. So I am doing Inktober movie monsters my way. Um, so anyway, let me flip over to where I started this. Well, I'll, I'll flip through. So I haven't worked in this sketchbook. I've worked in some other ones. I haven't worked in this one a whole lot lately. Um, but I will show you what I started write, writing down some ideas. Here's where I did my, um, okay, I did that for a challenge. All right, so here my watch keeps telling me to stand up. Let me show you all this cartoon real quick. <laughs> it was in our Sunday paper. Yes, Hubster still takes the Sunday paper. Uh, let me see. Uh, in paper form. <laughs> did I save it? Okay, here it is. All right, so this was in our Sunday paper. I sent this to Denise. So it shows this woman... My watch says it's time for me to stand. My watch tells me it's time to deep, deep breathe. It's my watch says I need more steps. <laughs> so anyway, every time now, because my watch goes off all the time telling me to, and I did get Denise's old elliptical, by the way. So I'm going to start using that. But uh, <laughs> anyway, it's so funny. Yes, yeah, Frankenstyle. Yeah, Ian. Uh, so anyway, I made a list of all the monsters I could think of. I wanted at least 31, but then I had some extra with the Ray Harryhausen. And then Hubster goes, don't forget about Gamera, the flying turtle with rockets coming out of its butt. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so I wrote some other ones like Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, Don't Make Me Sing, A Mermaid Maybe. I got even got Elvira and Svengoolie. You know, Mothra, Bride of Frankenstein, Phantom of the Opera, Cyclops, Planet of the Apes, you know, um, Dr. Jekyll, and I got Mr. Hyde, uh, It the Terror from Beyond, Wolfman, Visible Man, Mummy, Frankenstein, Creature from the Black Lagoon, uh, Gargoyles, Aliens, Dracula, King Kong, Swamp Thing. So I got, I got more than 31 to choose from. <laughs> hey, Sister Woman. Um, so the preppy, uh, crafty girl, and I, I've been meaning to get over it. here. Let me, let me take another rabbit trail. Preppy crafty girl is Jonna who, um, is back from Australia. She went over there to work with Hillsong for like, I don't know what, nine months, something like that. Anyway, she's back and she's, uh, her channel. I haven't checked it out since she been, she's been posting. She's been doing, um, she's been selling craft supplies off and I don't know what else she's been doing over there, but she's back to posting. So the preppy crafty girl is Darcy Glam's sister. I call her sister woman. <laughs> Jonna. So y'all go over there a year, a year. Yeah. Okay. She was over in Australia for a year. So the preppy crafty girl go over and follow her channel. Okay. So anyway, so my list. So I have some other things here. Okay. Here's where it starts. Fashion teaching. That's her, that's her channel name. Fashion teaching. So she talks about shapes and I just I just started just taking notes I just started taking notes while watching her quick five minute videos and this is all the stuff that I got down in just you know a bunch of five minute videos and so this is how I do uh, note taking when I'm watching videos so this is all the stuff that I did but what happened while I was doing it so here's an example while she was talking about different shapes or texture or something different um like armor and eras y'all know like i did that lemur with the uh combination of viking and samurai armor i don't have it right here in front of me so anyway i started making some more notes on fabrics textures eras and so I, I make my own notes as I'm going along, taking down her notes. But what comes to me, rather than just writing down what she's doing, I'm writing down what comes to me while I'm watching. So while I'm watching, I'm thinking of the different 
uh, armor and the eras and the patterns. And so I started thinking about the insect uh, scales and fish scales and the armor from samurais and Vikings. And so, you know, and just sketching down these different ideas. So if you do that while you're watching channels and then mind mapping and note taking and sketch noting, you're going to have all kinds of ideas come to you. But you have to write it down. People, I don't have any imagination. Well, you ever done any sketch noting? Have you done any mind mapping? Have you done any Society of Idea Collector? We have 40 videos on list taking and mind mapping and sketch noting and all that. You know, so I just don't feel sorry for people that say I don't have an imagination. I hope nobody just said that, but you know, no, <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Uh, but anyway, um, <laughs> so anyway keep a sketchbook and notebook handy this is a size that i'm gonna work in when i do my um monsters my movie monsters my way and then i, I showed this earlier this is my intro page for inktober and then what i did is i took a photograph of it with a, a, a quill pen here and i photographed it like this so this is the picture that you'll see when I post Inktober. My movie monsters, I put a, a real a real feather quill with a little blob of ink there. So, yeah. Uh, so anyway, there's that. Let's see. What else we can talk about? Did, am I missing anything? What else did I say I was going to do that I've probably forgotten? Mm. Let me check chat for a minute. Oh, Pacola said we have 56 episodes of Society of Idea Collectors so far. Yeah, we have over a thousand videos, guys, that I've put up on, on YouTube in the last five years. And then before that, I was four years before that on Ustream. So we, you know, those are four years of them are not on YouTube. But the last five years of YouTube and Ustream are on YouTube. Okay. All right. So let's see. Looking at chat, uh, Society of Idea Collectors is rabbit trail on steroids. It is Azure. We squeeze it a lot. And I just like to be able to share everything I know, you know, and sometimes you just want to, you know, open people's head and pour in all the information. So I talk fast, I talk loud, and we get a lot in, you know, a lot of rabbit trails. Um. <laughs> well, Ian, whatever you need to do. <laughs> Hi, Katrina. So let me take a sip. I'm, I'm down to my last sip of orange juice. I'm out of cranberry juice. Well, the store was out of cranberry juice, so. Please pour in my head, Sherry Buck. Let me show this one more time in case y'all came in late. So this is Zeely sent me um, this. This John Landis Monsters in the Movies book, and it's got like every monster movie, and 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 information about each one, you know, written up under it. So um, I love this. She said, "I hope this inspires you for your movie monster Inktober." So she sent me that. Oh, let's you know what? Let's pull let's pull out the Poe book. How about that? Do you want to talk about the Poe book? Will you do some more work on Poe? Yeah, <laughs> Michelle, I just said something about Poe. All right, so let me let me move my sketches and stuff here out of the way. We'll talk about the Poe book for a little bit. And don't forget, Janet, as far as I know, is still stream is at one. Janet M. Young streams at one um, from Monkey Island Madness. Let's see, would like to start at the beginning aside, but will not have. Um, well, you know, this is how I feel about, it's not really a sequential thing, Society of Idea Collection. It's just, you, you can pop in on any of them. Find something you like and, you know, eventually just pop in here and there because they're not, a, it's not a sequential teaching thing. The Society of Idea Collectors. It's just all kinds. Whenever we talk about ideas, we throw it in the Society of Idea Collector playlist. Um and, and you can just, you know, pick those out. Same thing for my abandoned, my abandoned, uh, um, abandoned, uh, altered abandoned book projects. Pacola had me, well, she actually did it, did the bulk of the work, a playlist of all my abandoned altered books. 
And uh, so there's play. There's, I have a 20, 25 different playlists, color books, you know, mixed media, just different things. So whatever kind of things you like to do, we probably have done something on it. Hi, Cynthia. All right. So let's talk about the Poe. All right. We'll talk about Poe for a little bit. Uh, I did show you, and if you weren't here earlier, I'm sure some of it's going to be repeated. I bought uh, some of this netting. It's glitter tool netting, which I want to put. I, you know what? I might be able to put my Poe picture in there now because I do have, and Janet sent me these napkins here. Uh, I did print out some more Poe pictures. If y'all remember last Wednesday or whenever we did it. Uh, the, I tried to tint my black and white. See, I had some black and white. I had some black and white Poe printouts and I tried to tint them, you know, sepia tint them with some ink and it, it looked blurry and smeary and wasn't working out. This is just printer paper. So I said, well, let me just print out some sepia ones. So I printed out some sepia Poe's so I could probably finish the cover of the, of uh, the box. So what I'm doing is I'm going to do the Raven. Uh, I'm going to, there's eight, I think 18 stanzas. I don't have it here in front of me. 18 stanzas of, is it, let me look, hang on. Let me look, <laughs> got it in my, I have it in my own email. So let me look real quick. Uh, where's my Poe info, my Poe info. So, um, hang on. Got tons of emails I got to go through here. Let me find. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, ah, uh, it didn't print out like I wanted it to. Let's see. I mean, I didn't email it like I wanted it to. So, there's one, two, three. It looks like there's six lines, six lines in 18 stanzas. So, I'm thinking that I can get one stanza on a page if I write fairly small with a calligraphy pen. And I want to do Old English or Black Letter. It's called Old English or Black Gothic. I want to write it in Gothic lettering. So if I do one stanza for every double page spread, then I should be able to get the whole raven written out in calligraphy. Okay, that's the plan in this in my little mark, my little faux leather mark book. Okay, so. I just had this on here for now because what I want to do is let me cut out one of these poses. And I tried to do a couple different sizes. This was going to be too big. So I did this size. I don't know if I want that background there. I think I'm going to, I'm going to cut that background out. I'll just leave him in there. So he'll be on the cover, and I want to put him in a frame of some form. I don't know. That's going to not be big enough. This is a sticker. This is one of those stickers that changes from, from a zombie. You know, I just put that there because that was the size of the, about the size of the Poe I want in there. Now, he's kind of on the red tint side. Maybe I should have done more on the yellow. Hmm. Well, we're going to see. I might have to print them out again. I might have to print them out more yellow tone instead of red. Sepia look, you know. Okay, well, let's let's roll with this for now. Okay, y'all have any questions? Put them in. Um, put them in caps. Okay. See, he still looks kind of bright. I don't know. I'm not not feeling it, Poe. Not feeling it, <laughs> but I want him on the cover, but the black and white was too stark. This is almost too red. I mean, it probably doesn't, let me zoom in, probably doesn't look that way on camera. And then I pulled out some other things too for the Poe book. So, and then the idea is, is to have the Poe book with the raven in here. See, so I got the raven here. I've got a seal here. I've got a pen nib. This is not glued down yet because I, I want to work Poe in here somehow. Right? And then inside the box is going to be the book. <clears throat> so I had some ribbon and I just had some of this kind of green tool. But I bought this black. 
So I'm going to, and I don't want glitter. I hope glitter doesn't come off on this. I don't like glitter coming off on things. But let's, uh, so I bought this to like make a, like a little cushion area for the book. Is that going to be enough? The black and the green. Maybe, and I probably have some purple somewhere. That would go in there too. All right, let's just start with this. Let's see what this goes like. So, so maybe some green and the black. And then I kind of wanted this ribbon. kind of wanted this ribbon to be, or I'll have to iron the ribbon or steam it. But I kind of wanted the ribbon to be kind of set in the box like this. Okay? And I want this clip on there because I like that clip. So it's going to be in there something like that, okay? That's what the book is going to be nestled in. What about putting a piece of pattern acetate over him? Um, I do have, you didn't see it. You weren't here, sister woman. But I have, I bought this stuff. <laughs> I bought these 24 sheets of, it's like x-ray acetate. So I don't know. Do I, <laughs> I got the I got the uh, skull. Let's see, but that would knock it back, wouldn't it? That would knock the color back. But you see, look how the window is only so big. You know the window. So you can't even. The skull's too big. You don't even see the skull. But this the ideal will work, sister woman. The ideal will work if I have something that I can use. Uh, that'll still show. I don't want a bug over him. If I had a raven, if I had a bird skeleton, it would be good, but I don't really want a bug over him. Um, I don't want a pelvis over him. <laughs> but these are like faux x-rays. Well, I guess they could be real x-rays, actually. You know, and there's a hand. And then there's the chest, which I thought I wanted to use one of these. I wanted to use one of the chest ones on the inside of the book with a, a heart or something on the, you know, butterfly. What did we decide? I don't remember. But uh, see, it's not, it's too big. When I put the door, when I put this on it, it's too big. So, <laughs> I mean, I guess I could put just the face of the skull. But then you don't see it's a skull. Oh, it looks just like a black smudge. It doesn't look like uh, the whole skull because it would be covered up. See, you don't really see it, do you? Or do you see? Do you think you see it enough? I don't think you see it enough to know that that's a. Can you tell that's a skull in there? What do y'all think? Should I use that? Hi, Andrea. I think Desert Nana gave it a thumbs up. You can tell it's a skull. So would that be enough just like that? What do y'all think? Should I roll with this? Because that kind of looks kind of cool, doesn't it? I could roll with that. That looks good. Okay, so let's see. Now I've got to get it situated just right. Because look, the neck. The neck is right there at his neck. So that looks kind of cool. Somebody else is saying no. <laughs> Two people are saying no. You can't tell? See, I think it does look kind of cool. He still looks a little too bright. But you really want him to stand out some. <laughs> Were you not going to stream, Janet? Janet says, okay, I've decided I'm going to stream. I didn't think you weren't going to stream today. Yeah, tones his shirt down. I mean, it's a little on the bright side. Okay, let's roll with it. Let's roll with it just like that. Like right about there too, I'm thinking. Right in that area. So i got to make sure I can glue this down. I got, got my glue ready. All right, so let's get this exactly there. All right, so let's see. All right, I've got to cut. There's a hole there from the thing. 
All right, so let's see. All right, hang on, guys. I've got to cut down. I've got to cut down this acetate at the top because there's a hole in it from the box. Okay, I mean from the pa pack. Now let's cut down the sides a little. See how how much of the sides I got to cut down. Okay, I got to cut. Okay, got that. <laughs> now I just need to uh, put a little bit of maybe just because he'll be glued to the box. So as long as I'm just kind of tack him to the x ray, let's just kind of tack him to the x ray just so I can pick it up because I'm going to glue it down, right? Once I figure out exactly where. <laughs> All right, now, because this is going over, so I've got it, because this needs to get glued down, but I can't glue this down until I decide exactly where everything's going to go. All right, so what do y'all think? Let's move them over just a little bit. Okay, how's that look? And, and I've got real feathers here, too. All right, so how about that? Are we liking this right there? I'm kind of liking that. It's very subtle. And he is a little on the bright side, but it makes him stand out. I'm kind of kind of digging it. <laughs> All right. So now I am going to, let's put a little bit of glue. This, this dries clear, but you're not going to see it anyway. I just want a little bit of glue just to hold this down. Okay. Because what's going to happen is this is going to be glued permanently down on top. Okay, let's slide them down just a little. Right about there. Let's double check. Okay. I think that's good. All right. So now I'm going to put a lot of glue on the back of this. I don't think this is a sticker. No. Sometimes Timmy... Tim Holtz's stuff is a sticker, but this is not a sticker. All right, so now I'm going to put a lot of glue. I want it real thick, real thick, and I don't care if it's not smoothed out because it's not. this is not paper where the bumps are going to show through, you know? So I want to put this on really thick so it doesn't come off. Okay. Oh, wrong, wrong lid. Where's the lid in this one? Oh my gosh. I don't know where the lid went. Okay. All right. So now, there it is. And then we'll put the lid back on that. Okay. So here we go. All right. Now let me just hold it down for a minute while I check chat. Hi, Tina. He looks ghostly, yeah. Well, I want him to stand out some because it's all about him and the raven, you know. And you can still see a little bit of the skull there. Are they going in the book? You mean some of the x-rays? If I can have room. I've got, I'm going to hand write out in calligraphy the whole poem which I think is 18 stanzas of six lines each. I have to look at it again because I can't tell on my phone because it's all run together uh, on my email to myself. I have to look on my email, not on my phone. <clears throat> Hi, Ann. <laughs> Ann did a hilarious, oh my gosh, we don't follow Ann. She did a hilarious thing with a doll, her face and a doll face, which I know some clowns and doll faces kind of freak people out. So if you, if you don't want to see a doll face with Anne, don't go look at her Facebook profile. <laughs> but I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. Okay, so I think we're going to, and I'll, I'll make sure and put something on that to keep it, uh, you know, to glue it down really well. So there we go. I like our Poe book box. What do y'all think? Is it crooked? No, I think it's, I think my, my thing here is a little crooked. But, uh, yeah, I should probably put a clamp on that. 
It's on Instagram. I won't show it, Anne, because it's going to freak some people out. Some people don't, you know, clowns and dolls creep people out. But I thought it was awesome. <laughs> the doll is creepy, Faithful said. Faithful, that's funny coming from you, Miss I Love the Walking Dead. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, that's funny, Faith. All right, so. Let's see now what else we can do. So with all these x-rays, I want to use some of them in the book if we have opportunity, if it, if it has an opportunity to do so. And same thing like the napkins that Janet sent, like this one especially. Let me open it up. I think she already, de she, de she took the back off. So it's already been uh, de-papered on the back. But Again, I want to make sure this is this box is just a cardboard box painted black. I do want to do more distressing, more more gold or green or something on there. I'm liking that. I'm, I'm glad uh, whoever thought to use that X-ray on his face. I think that gives it just enough of a hint. So anyway, so the book again. I'm going to have all this netting in here, and I'll tack it down or glue it down, or I'll fix the ribbon so that the ribbon kind of holds it down. Because I want the ribbon to have like a little, you know, little corners like this to kind of hold the book in. And I do want to put some other things like on here. I don't know what I want to do yet on here. I have all kinds of, you know, y'all saw all the cutouts and things that I have. Tons of um, faux femora, faux femora to put in here. This is going to have to go in the book because I, I want it on a white background. If you put a if you put a napkin on a black background, it it uh, or a dark color, you lose that brightness of the colors of the napkin. Fancy and lights, I can fix the doll face. <laughs> you can't fix the doll face. Good one, Faithful. She said the Walking Dead is just fancy paint and lights. I can't fix the doll face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh that's so true <laughs> oh my gosh thank you Pacoa for putting in links okay so I don't know I'm good what I'm gonna have to do here's what I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to write out in just in pencil or pen just you know sketch out sketch out the whole raven the whole the whole poem I'm gonna have to sketch it out on paper and then so for placement on other pieces of paper, just on some copy paper or whatever, cut it down to some, you know, cut, cut some copy paper down and just hand write out about the size of my calligraphy that I want to do. So I'm not going to do that now. You don't want to sit here and watch me lay out a whole 18 stanzas, but I want it to all fit in the book. And then depending on how many pages, like if I can get it like one per, you know, one section per double page and then still be able to have something here like in between like every other page every other page be a uh, decorative page and then have the next two pages be the poem like that but till but, but I can't really do that until I see how much um, space it's going to take and to do that, let me go to my mail again. See, I've got it uh, in my email, but it's uh, it's not broken up properly. It will be broken up properly in my regular mail, but not in my phone email. But anyway, I can just show you a little bit of like, uh, not in here, because again, I don't know yet, uh, the, how, the size. But let me do a little sample. Let, let me just get a piece of paper here. And let me get my a nib. I should write it with, uh, well, I don't know if I want to write it with, because uh, I do kind of need a, a flat nib if I'm going to do, I can't really write it with this. I don't think it's flat enough. Uh, I need a flat nib so that I can do um, black letter. I don't think that'll work. I was going to say it'd be cool to write it with this, but I can probably need, if I could change the nib on this. I don't do it. Can the nib change in this? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to change the nib on this. Let's change the nib. Oh, i got to get out my nibs. Hang on. Oh, well, wait. Maybe I have the size I want here. 
that one will probably work. I don't want it so small I can't read it. So let's take that nib out. Put it in the little casing. Put the casing back in the feather. All right, there we go. Now I've got the right I've got the right nib so I can write with the I can write with the feather. <laughs> I and mean, I never write with a feather pen. I don't write, I don't do that. But so let me keep my I need to put my nib in my nib. One of my nib holders. Hang no, on, that's up here. Go up here. One of my nib holders. Here's one of my nib holders here. This is just corrugate, corrugate cardboard cover. So they have the hole, see the corrugate in there? So you can just put your little nibs in the corrugate. Let's see, do I have a slot for one here? So again, see, little nib holder. Janet made me a small matchbook size one. And Sister Woman is the one that got brought me this one back from Europe. So this one, yeah. Glass one. The glass uh, nib. I mean, it's like a glass nib. So you have this plastic that protects it. All right. <clears throat> Let me put this up here so I can do a, just do a little practice for you. Mm. All right, let's move the box. It looks like a black hole right there. Move the book over. I would it would look awesome. Do the calligraphy on parchment. Yes, I'm that's what I plan on doing, Sherry. I have parchment paper to do. This is but I have to have it all practiced out first. Because if I'm going to do it in a in the book, which I want to put papers and decorate the background of the papers, but I have to be able to size it pro, uh, correctly. So let's um, probably half of that. Yeah, that looks good. So half of this, as far as width goes. I'm just showing you, I'm talking out loud. This is exactly how I would figure it out. I'd figure it out for myself, you know? So then we got this. Okay. And I have some nice parchment paper in a shelf over here. I'm not going to dig it out right now because I don't want to take the time to do that. Okay, so if we have, the, if this is the size, okay, so what I would do is now get a pencil. I can't find a pencil. <laughs> oh, my gosh, just a plain pencil. Here's one. Okay, this is what I was looking for. <laughs> Do you need a picture in a long black robe? A picture in a long black robe, long hair of yours. Grab the feather pen. And <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so let me just get my phone here and just write a, a couple of stanzas as practice. Okay, hang on. <clears throat> Okay, so just in any place in the in the in the poem here. Okay, let's see here. All right. So let's move this. So I'm I'm thinking about the size of my calligraphy pen. I kind of have an idea of how thick that writes. So I'm trying to decide. This is one stanza, and it's on my phone, so it's not broken out uh, paginately paginately correct um, on my phone. But uh, I just want to practice this as much as I can get on one sheet. So if I wrote out about this, if I'm writing about this big, it might be too, this nib might be too big. If I want to do it in, uh, if I want to do it in Old English, then I have to be able to have a flat nib wide enough to do the, the kind of writing. I could, otherwise, I could just use a pointed nib, and it won't be, but it won't be blocky. I want that blocky old English. 
all just distinctly I. See, that's about all I can get on one line. And I would I would take my ruler. Yes, a ruler. I'm going to do that real quick too. Because I'd want to be able to see how. All right, so if I did it like one half. If I did it half inch. Let's see if I do half inch. So if I do half inch. And this is how I plan out any kind of calligraphy thing I do. So if I do half inch lines, we'll just do a little test here. Half inch will leave me just about um, one, just, it'll leave me just enough space between the lettering. Do you need a pitch? Oh, okay. I, like okay. I distinctly read, and, and, and I'll go over this pencil. I'll just, I'll go right over the pencil. Remember it was in the bleak December. I'm not trying to write this neat. I just want to, I'm doing this for spacing purposes. And each separate dying ember rot that might be a little tight right there you might have to rot its ghost upon the floor see so now when you write this out you can see that looks a little tight in there and then you're going to be left with at the end of that sentence just kind of a lot of space so should I, you know, rework the, the spacing and the lettering to make this come out a little more even? Okay, so that's one sentence. And it looks like, so there's going to be approximately four lines in each stanza, it looks like. So four lines in each stanza. So I could maybe get one stanza on two double pages, okay? But let me just stop with that, just to do a little practice. All right, bye, Kay. Uh, Kay. And good to see you, by the way. I didn't even see you come in. Thanks for stopping in, Kay. We're going to be here for about just a few more minutes. Okay, so now, um, let me get my ink. Where did I do? Let's just go with it. this ink that I bought to use for Inktober. And I'll use a baby wipe to open and close it so I don't get ink all over my fingers with the little uh, pop-up lid thing. So I'm going to put some ink out here. Just enough to see when I close the lid how much came off. And I think I got some on my finger. There it is. All right. So now let's just do a little test here. I need to clean out my little soapstone here. And again, I'm not usually <laughs> used to using a feather, but I thought it might be kind of cool because of the bow theme. All right, so <laughs> let's, let's get this worked in here. <laughs> uh, arachnophobia is on HBO. That movie is terrifying. <laughs> Don't watch it then, preppy girl. <laughs> Donna. Okay, so, um, so for instance, and then let me see. Let me find, show you another something that will help. Let me go over here back to my phone. Let me go over here and look something up. Hang on. Okay, let me find, uh, I don't know if I, how fancy of a font I want. I've got tons of books on fonts, right? Let's just go ahead and turn this upside down. Okay, so here's some old English. All right, so here's some of the fonts. Now, that doesn't mean I have to have every little line and and uh, detail in each of these letters. These are pretty, um, a lot of detail, but I'm going to just kind of just do a couple just so that you can kind of watch, you know. All right. So let's see here. And you really want to, uh, you really want to practice on something, you know, get your lines, get your pen going, get your lines going, make sure everything's cleaned off. You know, this is, you know, again, this is a practice. Now I shouldn't have put that there because now I got to rest my hand right there. Well, that wasn't too, too bright. <laughs> I that 
<laughs> okay. Um, and I do have to really tilt it a little. I try not to tilt anything when I do it on, on camera, but uh, all right. So see that moved. So I want to see how thick and thin I can get these lines. I just want to see how much I can fit, right? How much can I fit on here? So this is going to be already kind of iffy. This thickness, this thickness of a nib, I need one nib smaller. Because this is going to be too, I mean, I can do it this big, but what I'm saying is then you won't, you're going to have to fit, you won't fit a uh, whole stanza on a double page. So I'm going to have to get out um, another nib. Okay. And this is just copy paper. It's not even any fancy paper yet. <clears throat> See, with this size, it's going to be. It just distinctly had another distinct, yeah, another T in there. See, that's a little too big. It's too big. It's, it's going to take up too much space. <clears throat> So I need a smaller nib than this, but I still need a flat nib, a you know, flattened off nib, not a pointy nib. I need a flat nib to get that uh, squared off lettering. So let's see. Let me get my nibs back out. Let me clean. Let me rinse off my. I don't know if I have any in a bit. In one of these or not. Or do I need to? Ah, here we go. This is what I need. Yeah, this is what I need. So I need this nib. Let's I'll show y'all the difference in the sizes there. Can y'all see the different sizes there? So I need this nib in this pen. I mean, I, I don't have to use this feather, it's just kind of cool, right? This is kind of cool to use that. Oh. <laughs> Okay, let's turn it the right way. So it's when I'm writing, the feather is going the right way. <clears throat> All right. So I'll just put this nib back in this pen. Let's get it in the right spot there. These are just some of my most used nibs. I have all those um, ones in the nib holders too. All right, so now, now let's see the different size. So now that we're, um, let me get this one going here. Cover that up. Now, let me, you'll see the difference in the sizes, okay? Okay. I can even write a little shorter. I'll do this. I'll do this one a little taller and then I'll go down here and write them a little shorter.
Now, normally my head would be like directly over this, but I can't go direct. I put my head directly over this because my head would be under the camera. But normally I'd be like literally looking right straight down on it, you know, like right up over it myself. But because I'm trying to keep it in camera, so it might be a little wonky. We'll see. Because uh, my head's not directly over the writing. That S is a little wonky. I'm out of practice. I haven't done any calligraphy in a while. Okay, but look at the thickness and see the difference in the size of the letters by changing the nib. Ignore that S, that turned out really wonky. But you see the different thicknesses? Okay, now I can even do a little bit shorter. I can bring the lines together more and like compact it, right? I can com compact this more if I write, uh, if I write, smaller. I'll show you what I mean. Whoops. Got that a little wonky too. So I can write littler. So I just have to decide what can fit Someone's texting me. So now because I'm writing smaller, my December doesn't come all the way there. See? So there's like different ways. But if you pencil it out, then you're less likely to make a uh, spelling error. And you can, and this is like, again, my practice. So I can see how much, how many stanzas and what I can fit on the book, which again, I'm going to do it on, I'm going to do this on a parchment, a cra uh, like a parchment color paper, and then I'll glue it in. So I won't be directly writing on here, which is also good because then if you make a mistake, you just can have to do the one sheet. You know, so anyway, I can see that if I write somewhere in between these two sizes right here, I should be able to get in one full stanza, four lines. Is it four, four or five lines? I think it was four, five maybe. Anyway, I should be able to fit them all on one double page spread. And I think there's 18 of them. So that means... I think I said 18. I counted them earlier. That's one uh, art, two art. And I by art, I mean, you know, just something, you know, some of the images. Three art, four art, five art, six art, seven art, eight art. 9 art, 10 art, 11 art, 12 art, 13 art, 14 art, 15 art, 16. I, I might be, I'm be squeezing it into the lot. I would have to make sure there might have to be one, maybe toward here, the middle where the writing or the stanzas are here and here with no art in between. Because I'm going to need, I think I'm going to need two extra pages for the, if I wrote it this big and I could get, and, and that's a little iffy too, because some stanzas might be a little longer or they may be a little shorter too. So what I'll end up doing is I will make a bunch of these pieces of paper this size and I will write, I'll practice, I'll write it all out uh, in, in pencil, knowing that this is the size I'm going to write. OK, so I'll write all the st stanzas out in pencil on sheets this big. 
and then I'll do a placement, like a, you know, exactly what where they're going to be. And then I'll know how many can fit, and do I need to skip a page or two where I can put the art, or do I need to double up on the writing? So if I hand write all 18 stanzas, then they'll fit in the book. You don't want to have to do that. You don't want to write all that out twice. <laughs> you can write it out once in pencil and once in calligraphy. So that's the plan right there. Does that make sense? It makes sense in my mind. <laughs> Does it make sense in you, to you guys that that's how I'm going to lay it all out? And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut down the sheets of paper and I'll probably have jagged edges, tear the edges top and bottom to, to glue in the book. But I'm going to decorate the pages of the book first with, sorry, I got the pick up, with some uh, Timmy paper or some different other papers, see? So the pages themselves are going to be decorative. I don't know how many I can get in here or whatever. We'll see. So there'll either be some papers like this. There'll be some napkin paper, something decorative behind, uh, behind the lettering, which will be, let me see if I can get down here under my table and find some parchment. If I can see under here well enough without a light. I don't know. I don't know if I can find my parchment that quick. Let me look. Yeah, I can't find it right that quick. But I have parchment, you know, parchment colored parchment that will have the uh, calligraphy on it. So, and then the, the parchment will go on the paper. And uh, I don't know if I need to like completely cover. It's going to double up the size of the book. So we'll see. But I do have different papers and different items. I mean, I can even ink the edges, ink it, and then put the parchment on. So that's all a little more decision making, right? So that's that. So any questions or anything? Let me clean my nib off a little here. And maybe I'll maybe I'll uh, just do a recording, not a live show, because it's a little hard to concentrate on this calligraphy and making sure you don't make a mistake or misspell. But maybe I will do a um, like a silent. I mean, I'll I'll talk some, but maybe I'll just do a recording. I'll just do a recording of uh, me calligraphying, <laughs> you know, something like that. That way you can see me do it, but I'm not live because I can't chat and do this. Trust me, you try. You don't want to try to chat and write out 18 stanzas of a poem and not make a mistake. Yeah, parchment color parchment. <laughs> yeah, Sherry. Well, I'm just trying to describe. It's parchment color. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, Jankos, call me on the phone and we'll talk while you write. <laughs> you can talk and I'll write. <laughs> but anyway, so, but I thought, you know, I just really wanted to use my feather pen because of Poe, you know, uh, as long as you got it uh, situated at your right angle, you know. But again, I don't, I can't really do it as perfectly as I'd like because I need it. I need my head right over my writing so I can see exactly my straight lines and everything. And I am out of practice, guys. I'm going to say, you know, I, I I do I do an occasional calligraphy for my local dojo, you know, for their certificates. But other than that, I really don't do much calligraphy anymore. So um, yeah. So I hope you all enjoyed seeing all the books today. And thank you so much, everybody, for all your awesome happy mail. Thank you, Zeely, for my monster book and my cup of bow. <laughs> and, um, and Katie for my, oh, that was the other thing we were going to look at doing. We got a few more. We got five more minutes. We'll do this, we'll show, we'll do this for five minutes. We're going to move from the Poe book. <laughs> We're going to move from the Poe. Let's move the, 
Move the pen. And uh, this is the other thing that I was going to plan on looking at doing today anyway, is my um, Whimsical and Wild uh, tearing these pages out and putting them, putting these in uh, this book. <laughs> I know, right? Right, sister woman? So anyway, um, I'll, I'll just do one or two just to show you. So here's, I've already took, I already took apart another Jane Davenport, her other uh, happy hour art journal. This is her new one, Whimsical and Wild. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I already tore one page out here just to show you. So I'm going to have to cut it down just a smidge. And I could get my paper cutter out if I do a whole bunch of them. But for right now, I'm just going to show you one or two. So I'm just going to cut off maybe a quarter of an inch. I just need a quarter of an inch cut off so that I have room to washi tape it in. So let me get one of my washi tapes here. Let's get a washi tape. And what I'm going to do, and, and I'm not putting them in any particular order either. That's the other thing. I'm just fitting them in whenever and picking a side. So I kind of like that side going this way. So let's pick, and because it's red on this side, let's go ahead and put this one here. So I'm going to just kind of do that. I'll take a, something that has some red in it here. <laughs> I know the mods do awesome, don't they, Cheryl? All right, and I'll do it after I tape this one in. I'll show you what I've already got in here. So if you washi tape something in, a book or anything, you really want to washi tape both sides, okay? And I'm just tearing it. I don't care if it's a little jaggedy. You want to washi tape both sides. Otherwise, it's going to be sticky right there. See, that's the other side of the washi. You can, it's sticky right there, right? So you want to, okay, I got that one a little too long. Let me cut that down just a little. You want to washi tape both sides so that it's better it's better held in, and also you don't have that little sticky bit. Okay. So now you got a tip in. All right, and this is what I'm going to do to this whole book. It's what I did to the other Jane book. I took the whole all, the whole book apart. And I flipped through this earlier. I took the whole book apart. It's a similar book. It's not the exact book, but it's another one of her uh, happy hour art journals. I forget the exact name of it. But I'm going to take all these pages out and washi tape them into this book. This I call this my Jane book. Okay. It, all it is is a sketchbook from Michael's. Like a, I don't know, six dollar sketchbook. I think they were forty percent. I think I paid two bucks for it. I put my handprint on the back, signed the back, and then what I did is I washi taped in all the pages from the other book, and then I did my own swatches. Okay, so and then I did some smack and dragon inking. Then here's another Jane page. Okay. Now here's another blank page where I can use one of these and I'll washi tape that in there. Okay. So and then here's another one. So I've got a few pages here, blanks where I can put in these pages from the other book. I don't care if they're in order or out of order. That doesn't matter to me. I'm not going to care if they're, I'm just going to pull them as I want them and I'll put them wherever they're going to fit in the book. And then what I've done is I've used this book for swatching. So let me get over to some of the swatches. I didn't start at the beginning. I just randomly <laughs> did different pages, different swatches. But you can see I've got room. I've got some room for some of the uh, new book. Okay, so here's some of my Poscas, my Artisan, my, my Posca Metallics. Uh, and so I'm using this as a swatch book. Okay, here are the uh, mermaid markers, my mermaid markers here, more mermaid markers here. And then I practice my lettering. I practice the lettering with, um, I think I did these with uh, just super tips, super tip markers. 
because I wanted to practice more of my lettering, my brush lettering. So you can see I've still got places. And then this is my uh, Jane Davenport. This is the gold set. And I wrote down all the names of the letter, I mean, of the word, oh, the, what she named her colors here and here. Okay. Then this is the Jane Davenport aqua set. The, I call it the aqua set because that's the color of the box. And then there's the names of those. Then here's the teal set. So I've swatched them all out and wrote their names down. Okay. And here's the artisan watercolors or Arteza. Is it Arteza? Arteza watercolors. And then I have the Arteza gouache. Here's the Arteza gouache. And then again, every page has a, has it, a washi tape Jane page in. Then these are the Black Widow pencils. These are the skin tones, the dark skin tones, the light skin tones. Then here are the um, Black Widow Cobra set, the Black Widow Scorpion set of pencils. Um, and this is more of the Black Widow ones. And then I started just doing other little, we did something. This was a test for something, some paper. Uh, then here's a different test for the different markers, the Arteza, the Zig, the Flexible Nib, the Super Tip. Then here it is on watercolor paper. So this duplicated on two different kinds of paper. So we're doing a paper test, the Super Tips, and I want to do the real brush ones here. Um, so it's it's kind of a swatch, swatch book, test book, along with my uh, Jane pages. So what do y'all think? And in the books, both of the books, this Happy Hour, Whimsical and Wild, and the other one, they both have different papers. They have some watercolor papers. They have, this is watercolor paper. This is watercolor paper. Then she has uh, some of the tone, you know, some, uh, this color. It's not really Strathmore quality. It's just that color of paper. Then she has color book page paper. And she says in here what, what kind of paper it is. So I will take all these out. They're perforated. I will take them all out. And I will washi tape them into this book. Just like I did the, these pages. And the book will be chunky. It will be chunky and full. But and you can see, I just put all different kinds of washi tape. So I'll try to get that done maybe today so that by Wednesday I can show you uh, I can show you how chunky it gets and full. So again, just every other page or so has got a Jane page. So by the time I finish this book, every page will be full. And so you can see already what it looks like. How to buy what? They're they're good. I have not uh, worked with them a whole lot. I just haven't had time to work with them a whole lot. <laughs> but I did like them when I swatched them anyway. And of course, every pencil is going to be different on different papers. You always need to test your different pencils: your Holbys, your Polys, your Lumies, your Prismas, your your um, uh, you know. The Black Widow, whatever pencil is, you need to test it on every book. Same thing for watercolor markers. What different types of water brush markers? You need to test them on every paper because every paper is going to react differently. All right, guys. Well, we've been here three and a half hours, so I guess I'm going to head out. I hope y'all enjoyed a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a lot of books. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you. Uh, see you at other streamers and. Or and or we'll see you by Wednesday. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks and thanks everybody for all the awesome happy mail. Thank you, Faithful Mess. Bye. <laughs>